What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on? So I dropped down two spots already because I guess the people that um, I, I skipped over, they went on live and started pushing their prescription, so I dropped down to 22. You just got your sweatshirt? All right, do me a favor. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Erica. Do me a favor, Allison. Add me back. Make a video with you wearing a sweatshirt. All right, and then send me the uh, send me the video. Damn, my fucking nose ring. Send me the video so I can uh, add it to my website. Anybody who bought merch for me, I want everybody to make a video on TikTok, and I'll add it to my website. All right, I'm about to add you. No, my page never went. It just, it, ne it never went anywhere. It's just, it's, I'm suspended from using it. By the way, has anyone seen videos from the main page be on the FYP the past two days? Because I see my following went back up. Because I was losing hundreds of followers a day unless I was going live. That's why I always went live on the other page. You seen it? Okay, so the main page, you did see videos on FYP, yeah. So that page is back from the shadow ban. But I just find it funny that they shadow ban my shit. They shadow ban my shit right when they suspend me. I mean, uh, they unshadow ban my shit right when they suspended me. That which was just strange to me. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. My eyes. You seen four pages from my main on that FYP? Yeah, that page is back. And what's up, brother? What's going on, bro? All right, let me. Cause I got a migraine. Uh, my migraine is killing me. Hello, hello. Hey, Pat. What's going on? So I know you're aware that John was in the live uh, earlier. No, I wasn't. I yeah, he was in the live earlier explaining himself. So you said you wanted to hop on my joint so you can explain yourself. So I want everybody. Cause the reason why I'm choosing to let you explain yourself is because. There's always two sides to everything, right? So if one side can be heard, we got to hear the other side. So please, everybody in the comments, if you don't agree with her, you can disagree. Just don't disrespect. I repeat, you can disagree. Do not disrespect or I'm muting you the rest of the live. All right, Trina, go ahead. Um, So I just want to say thank you, first off, because I know it's, you know, I know you're cool with him. So this is definitely big of you. Um. So I, I want to start with why this even came to the internet, because I think a lot of people are confused and they think that I brought this to the internet because I'm facing Carl and that's not how this happened. I contacted John, mind you, we haven't spoken since I think December, 2021. Him and I made a X-rated video and I contacted him. I think it was about five days ago now, six, five days ago, something like that just to kind of reach out and get his consent again to post the video. Because when we left off, when I flew back home from LA, terms definitely were not good. And me just knowing me, I want to real, 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 real quick, Trina, I'm going to get everyone to catch up. So the person she's speaking about is my boy, Jonathan Moss. You guys know Jonathan Moss, one of the biggest creators on the app. He has over 6 million followers, verified all of that. They, apparently got some issues so if you want to see what's going on go on her page and watch her videos go on his page and watch his and then you'll get caught up caught up this live is specifically for the people who knows knows what's going on go ahead trina okay um so i'm sorry i lost my train of thought okay i was trying to contact him because again like i i'm a person that tries my best to treat people the way i want to be treated so me just thinking like I would be pretty pissed if a person I fought with turned around months later and posted a video that we haven't re-talked about. Like, I, I wouldn't be happy about that. So I just wanted to contact him and basically re-get his consent. I mean, legally, I didn't have to do that. But again, just not trying to be a messed up person. I wanted to see if he was still cool with it. So I commented on his because I didn't still have his number anymore. I have a new iPhone. And that's another thing. For the people who are probably going to want me to show receipts, I only have one 
device with the receipts that y'all are looking for. So I can't talk and show you stuff. So if you want to see any type of receipts, go to my page. Um, but yeah, so I was in his page and I asked him about the video and I told him I had a question about the video so that he knew the basis to was wanting to even contact him about in the first place. Um, right. and I, it, it, no, 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 I was saying, right, right, right. It's a, it's a delay. I don't know why, but I was saying, I was just shaking my head right like that. Um, so a couple of people saw that comment as far as, you know, me asking him about the video and they tried to dive more into it, but I just let them know, like, mind your business is between me and John. At that point, he had reached out to me, so we were already in communication. It was nothing for the internet. He called me. Um, I said, hello. You know, I just wanted to apologize again for the way that things happened. We were pretty upset about it. You didn't really give me a chance to say much in my defense when it happened. And like I was saying before, I have a person, like, if you shut me down when I'm trying to explain to you, I'm not the push it, it's done. Like if you are the type of person to have your mind set regardless of what the other person is saying, I'm not going to waste my breath. But I just wanted to kind of let him know regardless of how I feel about his feelings, I'm not dismissing them. So, you know, if you felt some type of way, my bad. But I also want to just to re-get your consent about the video. And he was like, you know, you really don't need to call me to ask that. You have my consent when we made it. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I just wanted to re you because things didn't go right. So then he tried to go into him being traumatized and that's in something else. And I was just like, okay, John, well, honestly, if you were traumatized, then you should have listened to me. Me personally, if someone wrongs me and they're offering me some type of closure or explanation, I'm going to at least hear what they have to say. If it's BS, it's BS. But I'm not going to just be like, no, I don't want to hear it. It is what it is. So once he took that standpoint, it kind of was just like, I mean, sorry for your trauma, but a lot of it was in your head. So I, I don't know what to do about that. So I was in a live with Slim because Slim had made some comments um, in a previous live and, you know, he was being attacked and he was saying how you and I speak unfollowed him and he felt that y'all platforms weren't safe because y'all weren't allowing his comments. So I joined the live because I just wanted to kind of give him a different perspective about how, you know, I understand when you're dis when someone disrespects you and having like no holds barred. But in me being on this app and learning, I'm also understanding, like, it's one thing to disrespect a person. It's another thing to disrespect a group of people. So I was in Slim's Live just talking about that. It had nothing to do with me, Jonathan, nothing. I see John in the comments saying, yo, Slim, let me up, let me up, let me up. But again, because the, the drama that was between me and him had never hit the Internet before, to my attention, because apparently he had talked about this on live several times previously but i didn't know that it had ever surfaced on the internet so i didn't think too much of him trying to get in the live i was just like okay whatever like i don't know what he wants but it it can't have anything to do with me he got yeah, there hold on hold on to backtrack they're saying that's not what slim said about me and Ant. they're saying that's not what he said that's almost verbatim what he said i'm not trying to say he was talking shit about y'all i said that he said how he had gotten unfollowed and he wanted his platform to be a safe space for everyone, that regardless of who felt what about what that person was saying, that they could go on his speak. That is exactly what he was saying. Okay. And I, again, I'm not trying to make it seem like he was talking shit about y'all. He was stating how he felt. And, and that's what he said. And I'm not repeating that to be messy. I'm just saying, like, that was the basis of our conversation. So, um... Oh. Go ahead, and, yeah, can uh, uh, before, before you continue, everybody wanted me to ask you what what happened between you and Taya. I, I, that's a I'll get to that. I'll get to that. All right. Um, and uh, before I do get to that, I will say that if y'all notice the things that Taya accused me of, I have not said one word about. Because the thing about me is, if I wrong somebody, whether it was in retaliation to them wronging me or not, if I do something, if I have done something, hey. Tell your story by all means. I'm not going to refute you. I'm not going to contest you. But you're not going to lie on me. So I just I want y'all to keep that in mind because the Taya situation is very real. And I haven't contested anything she said. But moving on. Wait, wait. You said it's real? Everything she said in the video? Very real. It's very real. It's very real. You? Very much so. Very you, much. You said. 
Now that part is not real. That part's not real. But the key in the car and um the damage of the TV, that was real. As far as what happened in that room when I left and she went in there, I don't know none of that. Um, but yeah, that part was very real. Um, I did leave like some roaches and stuff on the bed. Now, for for my experience, I don't know those things to catch a whole room on fire. I have not heard one thing from that hotel. So if the whole room did combust, I mean, I don't know. I guess they took it on the chin. But again, I'll take what I do. I was pissed. Taya tried to leave, leave me and my child stranded two hours from my home, following behind the man that in the end had no good intentions for her. And following behind that man, because see, she told the story, but she didn't tell what she did. She told how I reacted. She tried to leave me and my child stranded two hours from home. When she volunteered to pick us up, she volunteered to hang out with me. I get there. Guys, roaches, roaches, as in weed, as not literal roaches, like the lit roach. Yeah, yeah. It's wow. It's it's a it's a marijuana reference. Good, I got yeah. that. So, um, I was pissed, and I asked her. I pleaded with her for hours to just take us home, take me and my kid home. We're not getting along. She kind of has this thing of. And you can tell even from her content, she's the type of person that can't be told any wrong. And she also speaks very abrasively. And I'm not the person that's going to accept that. So when I was out there and some things occurred that I guess she didn't like that I had done and wasn't liking the way I was speaking and also wasn't liking that I wasn't allowing her to speak down to me, she decided to leave or threatened to leave me and my kids stranded. So, yeah, that sent me into a very, very deep rage because Taya knew, kind of like John, I was going through a situation. Like I said, I went through a lot of trauma and it's taken me almost two years to to, try, to process that. And in this process, again, I will definitely admit to not making the best decisions judgmentally, to going the hell off on people and doing a lot of things out of anger because I am a very vindictive person and I will admit. But yeah, um, and that's another thing. I don't. This is. I don't want to turn this into me having to go down the list of why I got into it with this person and that person. I'm here to tell my story about John Crystal Crave. Just tried to do that yesterday. Like this ain't about to be a let's beat up on Trina thing. If I had words with you in the past, or we had dealings in the past, if you felt some type of way about it, really, then you should have confronted me face to face. Don't come on here when you see I'm into it with somebody else and try to get in where you fit in. Not cool. And and. Honestly, that's what weak people do. If you got a problem with me, stand on your own. Don't try to click up with somebody else that don't like me. But anyway, so I'm in Slim's Guys, box. guys, I, I know who's in the box. I'm waiting for her to finish her story, and then I will add them up. Go ahead. I'm in Slim's Live again, and I will read. I never said that Slim was talking about Pat or I speak. What I said was Slim had stated that Pat and I speak unfollowed him due to his comments that he made on that live, right? how he feels that sometimes their platform isn't the safest space for everyone to speak. So he wanted his platform to be that. That is what he said. If he wants to get on here and refute that, that's on him. I wasn't reporting. Sure? Wait, are you sure he can come up here to refute that? I, I don't care. That's fine. Okay. I know what I heard. Um, So I was in the live, like I said, just trying to offer him different perspective uh, on that particular exchange and how although I told him you know I resonate with the whole if you disrespect me no hoes bar but in being on TikTok and educating ourselves we got to kind of understand that some things are hurtful to an entire community and, and we got to change our verbiage so again John is in the box for pretty much my entire time talking and didn't say anything so again I'm not thinking nothing of it I'm not thinking it's about the drama between me and him until Slim gets a text. His whole demeanor changes and he tells me he has to drop me. So he, I, did, uh, I was done talking because I had only come up to offer my perspective. I wasn't really trying to even hang out in the live. I kind of just ended up expounding. But when he said that, I again, I didn't think nothing of it. I dropped myself down. I'm like, all right, cool. I thought he wanted to let someone else up. Hold on, Stan. Um... But I, and I can't remember like what he said that let me know like oh John texted him and that's why he dropped me. But he said something and I was like oh this is about me and John. 
So I tried to request to come back. And he, I think Slim said he tried to let me up, but he ended up accepting Spank Queen instead of me. So um, I guess him and Jonathan were still texting in the background because Slim ended up blocking me, which pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie, it pissed me off because I literally had just, just finished saying how you wanted to create an open space, a safe space for anybody to be able to speak regardless of who it's regarding or what it's regarding Yet, when your homeboy texts you without getting any context about the story, you run away and block me and don't give me the chance to speak for myself. And you were literally just complaining about that. So I was, and like I, like I said, and that it, it ain't no, I don't need to have a reason. I was pissed flat out. So um, I went back in this live. I told Slim, like, you up, Jazz, yeah, for that to just follow behind some man that you honestly don't know off this. Feel like it's a clout chasing friendship you see his <laughs> make sure that y'all remember it's like i said it's crazy how you just was in your thing how you want your platform to thing. i want to before you finish okay the reason why slim and, and ant is keeping their stuff muted is because they have respect for me now when they get a chance to speak or specifically slim is, is really what i'm speaking about when you, i don't want your own police don't you because the way not what you think about Slim is almost coming up like your your like, so if you go Are see you me, breaking up, Pat? I can't hear I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, you can't hear me at all? Shit, can you hear me now? Can I can hear you now. now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, what I was saying was was that the reason why Slim and Ant is keeping this stuff mute is because they got res they, they they respect me enough to not, you know, over talk you and let you finish what you gotta say. I just want to make something very clear. When Slim speaks to, to defend himself, I don't want to hear anybody sit here and say, oh, Slim is disrespecting this. I don't want to hear it because the way Trina's coming off, and I'm going to say this while you're here, it's coming off like you're throwing shade at him. It's, it's oh, very coming much off so. Like, very much so. Oh, very much so. Okay, so, 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 so if he throws shade back, we can't, we can't sit fine. here and do the politics Me and Slim have a, in this established life. that we don't care for each other. Whatever that means. Okay. Hey, how about it? Okay, I just want to make sure. That's what I'm trying to get people to understand. When I actually have a problem with someone and they can say, this person said this or this person did that, please, talk your ish. I just don't stand for lies. That's that's all. So, when I realized that that was the situation, like I said, I went on my backup. Um, I blocked again. At that point, Slim wasn't trying to hear nothing I had to say. He was Team John. Cool. So, okay. He was Team John. Cool. So, um, like I said, that, that pissed me off. It rubbed me the all the way wrong. That, like I said, I, I don't think it's cool to have a problem with somebody and then go to your friends and try to use your problem with that person and try to sway friends. Because uh, I'll say again, when me and Slim were interacting before, although I do feel like a lot of his rhetoric is dangerous, because of you and I speak, I listened to him speak, and that's why I came into his live and offered some perspective or tried to, because I originally thought of him as a man that was trying to learn and trying to educate himself, as am I. So it just irritated me as phony, and then I was in another one of his live, and he was saying more dangerous rhetoric, so that it just... Nigga, I'm, what is the topic? What are we talking about? What is the topic here? My fault. I'm, I'm coming in late. Well, the topic this seems like this seems like somebody's just building up shit and being like, "Oh, hey, everything this person says is dangerous." So I'm not I'm not trying to argue, but I'm trying to see what is the top. What are we talking about? It was supposed to it was supposed to be speaking about you. But I know. Like, what is her. going on? What, what is know. she saying? I was explaining. Okay, then talk you. about me. Anyway, I'm gonna my sentiment. So, like I said, I was in the live. The point of Brought me to Slim's page was because Jonathan, when blocked from Slim's live, tried to create the thing that I had stalked him and, and I knew that him and Slim were friends and I had followed him <clears throat> Slim's live. Although I was in the live first, both in the comments and in the box, and he came into the comments and the, box. the whole situation was irritating. I didn't get the chance to speak my piece. 
that point, I'm thinking uh, my my anger is only really aimed at Slim. I ain't gonna lie because my anger was from being silenced because at that time, to my knowledge, there were no videos that stuff was up. So I was just like, damn, like again, more cases of I'm on TikTok. I'm a big content creator we're gonna weaponize the report feature we're gonna weaponize the mute feature we're gonna weaponize the block like i just i can't stand it so i was mad at slim but then slim hold on hold on uh, hold on hold on slim i need you to mute bro because it's messing up the audio everybody in the box got to mute everybody slim included i don't know if slim can hear me but his joint is not muted i'm okay bet all right good so um my city, from my town. Mind you, Jonathan lives in Cali. I live. Sent me a video and said, dang, what you do to him? Because like I was telling a friend of mine, I know Jonathan is trying to make the excuse of there's a million tailors in the world, but the problem with that is it's not just my name. You also have my story with my name. So people in my town and people that personally know me will see that see the message with my whole story in it and know exactly who he's talking about. <coughs> Lord, <they know. coughs> Hold on, baby. I'm in the line. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh-uh. I'm good. Thank you. Uh-uh. Um, so when I seen that, like I said, I, I that's when everything just went ham. Now, video <laughs> Does not like I said, not only was he soft oxing me, but he was lying. The way that Jonathan and I first contacted each other was via Facebook Live. I was not even really present on TikTok time when he came in contact, but I did know I saw his Facebook page and I saw, I believe it was a video about him being homeless. It was a video about him being stranded. It was just videos about him struggling and him being emotionally open. And I was saying in his live on Facebook because the live was about how he had a surplus of platonic friendships female wise and he didn't understand why these women in his life would say that he was a good guy and he wasn't unattractive but when they would or when he would present to them being more than friends they weren't interested so I was in the live in that particular live and I said well I think the way that you carry yourself is very admirable it's very attractive and I think you know aside of your persona Physically, you're attractive, too, and I wouldn't mind getting to know you. His his comments are off, and they kind of hyped it up. So I guess that brought it to his attention because that wasn't the first time I had said he was attractive in his life. But that was the first time that he saw it. So when he kind of responded to my comments because other people were making a big deal out of it, <coughs> that much of it, until he inboxed me the next day. And I ain't going to lie, I thought it was fake because... Facebook's the way they verify is weird because they be having hella fake pages that's verified. So at first I thought it was fake, but then you know I was like, no way. I said something flirty and and funny to me, and he was like, yes, yeah, me. Thank you, I appreciate you. And I said, cool. You know, I wouldn't mind like getting to know you or meeting you one day, something along those. Lines, right? So he asked me what was my number. From then we started to Facetime, like I said in my videos. Jonathan told me, I think almost every time we FaceTimed, which, by the way, was the majority of the way that we talked, which is why in those instances in his thread, like when he was saying I was sending him nudes out of the blue. No, I was sending him nudes while we were talking. A lot of those messages and a lot of things that were happening, like our iMessage games were happening while we were FaceTiming, because, again, that is how we communicated majority of the time we established early on that him and I don't really like texting when it comes to a form of communication when you're getting to know somebody romantically because it just leaves way too much to be guessed as far as tone, context, all that. So, we Yo, I'm going to be back in about 12 minutes. I'm about to go to the gym. This seems like it's going to take forever. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> the shade. Anyway, it is gonna, it, it's not a short story. You've been posting video after video. But anyway, um, so like I said, he made it clear like he wasn't interested in any platonic friends, right? 
So I didn't really have an issue with that. I feel like I felt like he was just kind of outlining his boundaries, which I had no problem with because again, it was never just platonic. I, you know, so him just trying to make that clear that that's not what he was seeking was perfectly fine with me. So uh, I can't remember every little thing, but I do. I remember the day when I was lifting the September seventh, um, and I was having a panic attack. I do take. Medication, you know, so I wasn't lying. Let me think. Visterol, for those who don't know, it's anxiety medication. Wasn't making it up. I have panic attacks and anxiety attacks, and they are sometimes very severe. So that day, I was having a very bad series of panic attacks over and over to the point where I could not really pick up passengers because I was having panic attacks. Um, so I let him know that, and he asked me, did I need to vent? Now, I want to address people saying, well, why would I tell him all my business? A, like I said, one of the biggest reasons why I felt that he was attractive outside of aesthetically and physically was because of the way that he was open emotionally on the Internet. So in my head, I'm thinking a person who does all of this, you know, crying as a black man at that to a person who this emotionally open on the Internet would certainly understand this trauma. And he was on the other side of the country. We've known each other for 17 days. We don't run in the same circles at all. So what could come of me telling him my trauma? What could come of me venting? Right? Wrong. Mm -hmm. Very wrong. <laughs> so neither that's neither here nor there. He asked me the vent. I bleh, trauma dumped. Literally. This happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. And it's got me messed up in the head. So he responds, as we all see, with sending me two grand. I responded, and again, I will say, I should have never said the words, I'm going to send this back. Because I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't going to send him a dime back. I wasn't. So I shouldn't have said it. And I will take that on the chin. Certainly will. Um, but it just, it kind of took me off guard. Because like I said in my video, I had two different things going in my head. A, oh. I, hey, this is a guy who's just trying to show me, like, and he kind of alluded to this when we were FaceTime, but trying to show me, like, if he's going to my life. Wait, wait. So so you did take his money, right? Oh, for sure. I took every dollar he sent me. And do you feel, do you feel that that, do you feel in a sense like you were using him or you felt like? No. No? No. Okay. Because when he sent, okay, when, let's start with the 2000 2000 I didn't ask him for a dime. And not only did I not ask him for a dime, I had not known that man for a full 30 days. Not only had I not known him for a full 30 days and not asked him for a dime, Jonathan's persona on, in, on the internet is that he's broke. One of the videos that I admired was him being hungry and stranded. He doesn't paint himself to be a <coughs> dollars to send to a stranger. So I was taken aback and I won't, I won't deny that it, it made me more attracted to him. I won't deny that it absolutely did, but it wasn't necessarily the money. It was how it was. So boom, here you go. That's really more so what it was. And it, and what made it kind of more special to me was that it wasn't what I'm used to, which is a transactional thing where the guy knows you're paying me for my time and attention off top this was us actually getting to know each other without business ties on a romantic, like we're actually interested in each other level. So for him to do that without meeting me, like I said, knowing me 17 days, I just, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it drew me further in. Sure did. So, um, and again, I'll address the time. I think I asked Jonathan for help twice. And both times that I, out of my mouth, asked him for help, he didn't, he couldn't do it. The times when Jonathan sent me money was unprovoked. He asked me what was going on. He asked me to vent. I vented. He sent me two grand. One day he asked me what was happening that day or what, what were my happenings that day. That day I came outside and my tires were flat. So I sent him my tires being flat because that's what was going on. He sent me money. I didn't ask him to pay for my tires. Jonathan did that on his own. Jonathan sent me 2K on his own. And like I was saying in the video, on the comments on my own videos, I'm a single mom. I was struggling at the time. Again, I couldn't even lift because I was panicking. 
If you're telling me that you're going to send back free money when you have bills to pay, rent, lights, gas, then then you are a better person than me. And I will wait. Get- wait. So you said so you say you didn't ask for it, right? No, you can see that in the messages. I didn't ask that man for a dime of that two thousand. Okay, okay. No, I want to. I, I want to make sure because someone's saying like they, they heard you say you did ask for it. Now you say like I. I just want to make sure we're clear on that. All right, so you me. didn't ask for it. Okay. Words, words, because what I did, <coughs> I met Jonathan. I realized why he sent me the two thousand. People are twisting me saying that and taking that as me saying he paid me for something, and that's not what I'm saying. Did you ask him for money afterwards? Yes, I did. I just okay. said that I, ha- I have asked Jonathan out of my mouth for money. But when I have asked, like when I asked him, right, for help, he couldn't do it. And I'm not saying that to say like I was upset by that because I wasn't. We were still in communication. But what I'm saying is the times he did send me money, they were unprovoked. I was simply talking to him and he sent me an Apple Pay. That's what I'm okay. saying. That's why I'm saying right. using him, a user, which... Again, I'm good at. I'm a sex worker. It, it, it is quite literally my job. A I mean, you- hey, get 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 your money. Ain't nobody gonna judge you for being a, a sex worker. Get get your bread. I'm not, not ashamed. Saying- not ashamed of it. What I'm saying is, a user, a person, and especially a skilled sex worker. Better part of a decade of my life, I've been a full service escort dancer, cam girl. I know how to extract money from men. I know how to outright. I'm not scared to ask no man for no money. I'm not. But again, when I out my mouth asked Jonathan for help, he was telling me how he couldn't do it. He had sent all he could. So I left it alone. The times when Jonathan sent me money, like that 2K, like the couple hundred he sent me for my tires, all I did was let him know what was going on. And then he sent me money. That's why I'm saying, no, I wasn't using him. I'm also not refuting that his willingness to help me made more attractive but where my issue is is he's trying to paint the narrative of that (coughs) and that i was already attracted to him we were already in that mode it was not strictly platonic and that's where i have at least from the comments i've seen a lot of people are finding issue is that he wanted a friend and after he sent me money i tried to flip the script and that's not the case in any way shape i want to i want to i want to say this because I, I do agree with the comments. It's it's going on a little longer than it's supposed to because I want everyone to have a chance to speak, especially Jonathan, most importantly, and Slim, because Slim had nothing to do with this and his name got dro- got dropped in in a negative way. So that's why he's here. So and I speak's name was mentioned as well. That I just want to make sure that's why everybody's in the box. Buddha Bay is is here in support of me because that's my big sis. So I want to hear. Slim's thoughts on the comments you left about him because I feel like he deserves to defend himself because he he was chilling. He had nothing to do with this conversation. This, this conversation was really about supposed to be about Jonathan. But I want Slim to speak and 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 speak up for himself. That's fine. Go ahead, Slim. N- nigga. Oh my god. Cause we on the Maury show today, goddamn. Oh, <sighs> I figured I'd come in in character, goddamn, since everybody else acting, let me act. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> first off, yeah. first off, you know what I'm saying? I never said nothing about this lady. Don't I don't speak on situations that are not, that I have nothing to do with. I knew nothing about, I knew about the story, and I even, for context, I'll tell you what happened with the text message that came through. It said, Slim, the girl that Jonathan's been talking about, Trina Dahlia, is her. Now, Jonathan is my brother. The same way Pat is my brother. The same way, even though we're not getting along, I speak is my brother. I, I Once I take a liking to somebody and I, I, I lock in with them, I don't understand none of this shit. Like, you're not going to disparage them or do them wrong, and I'm going to feel like that's okay for that shit to happen and go on. So that day when she was in the box, I didn't address her. I just was like more like, damn. So this who got my man's in a got my man's in a funk over here. I dropped out the box. I asked her to move down. I dropped out the box and then I blocked her. Because for her to say that Jonathan is following her around to me seemed pretty asinine because most of the time Jonathan's either over here on my live or on other lives. I don't see, I don't, I don't ever see Jonathan's name in any live that's crazy. So she said that we talked about her like a dog. 
never did. Never did. We didn't even mention her name. Never mentioned her name. Never mentioned her name. Everybody else in the comments was oblivious. We were talking, but nobody else knew exactly what was going on <coughs> or who we were talking about. And I did this for a reason, because she wasn't up there to defend herself. And when I said creating a safe space, I said, oftentimes I get attacked. And when I get attacked, if I respond, no matter what, when it comes to disrespect, I don't feel like this is a safe space for me. And and that's just what I said. It wasn't a shot that I speak or pet. And on a serious note, oh shit. On a serious note, to all of the women that was offended that day by my comments, I apologize. I even apologized to the girl, to the lady that oh I, I I said that too on another live. It wasn't done in private, it was on another live. I apologized to her, she apologized to me. That bit that business has been taken care of. But I still don't stand for disrespect. And I'm not going to cater to a person's disrespect or the manner in which you feel like I could disrespect you once you've been disrespecting me complete. I, I have a lot of patience. But I'm not going to keep on playing with you <coughs> when you want to disrespect me. Feel me? So that's just that. And it, it might have been rude and insensitive. When I'm hot, I ain't going to lie to you. Ain't no calming me down. So to Pat, I went off on Pat that day. Again, I publicly apologize to you. You know, I still be shooting you text messages and talking about your ass anyway. I know. But you my brother, bro. I love you. And that wasn't to disrespect you. When I get heated and I start seeing red, I don't understand nothing. And I ain't trying to understand shit because I didn't I didn't I didn't already been as patient as I possibly can. But for this lady, I gave her absolute respect to why while she was in my box. I, I I made sure that I didn't speak on her. I we didn't even speak or mention her name, but yet and still she's been dragging me. Calling me a bitch on the internet, making videos. Cause I know you took them down, but I still I got the videos in my phone. I got one of them in my phone. You know what I'm saying? You've been attacking everybody that was in my panel that didn't have nothing to do with this. And, and, and I'm talking about she dragged VC Barbie, she dragged Spank Queen, she dragged She's a Bullock, she dragged everybody, which made me which I didn't even care to listen to what you had to say that day. Because for one, this was my brother come all the time. And I don't want my brother feeling uncomfortable in my space. Just like if, if since, you know, like since we had our little father night and I ain't been on y'all, you know, they, you know, the basement brigade been coming to me on a regular basis talking about some, yeah, Slim, well, how do you feel about I speak not letting you up on this platform and how you feel about that? Didn't we tell you that that was going to happen? And I, t I blocked out and I told him, fuck all of them. You're not going to come over and do that. And I don't switch sides. I'm not some weird ass nigga that don't stand on principle. Principle is principle. Feel me? I understand what y'all had to do. You had to separate yourself from me. Cool. That don't mean I'm going to go over here and jump team just because I'm like, oh, yeah, they, they did me some kind of way. Man, I will never do no weak ass shit like that in my life. Just like how she did this shit. You know what I'm saying? What she talking about? She said, we talked about her and called her everything but a child of God. If y'all don't believe me, I have the receipts. All the videos are taken off of her page, but I have the video on my phone. And that's a fault. That's a lie. I just want to say I didn't take anything down. A lot of my. Videos. I thought we was. I thought we was talking like in order. Who was next after Slim? Because you. Her, okay, John, so that's you. her taking my time is not uh, valuable at all. I don't like that. My video. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm, 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 I'll be through in just a minute. Um, so if, if if you need proof, and that's what further made me make sure I start blocking her. But then the crazy part was because she kept attacking. Everybody that, that 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 came into contact with me, like stitching their videos and making response videos to them. I yesterday on my live, this this is actually a character that I'm gonna start playing. Know what I'm saying that that's why I brought him up here because it's for the drama. Know what I'm saying, yeah. I, I wanted to start hosting the show, and I told Jonathan, I was like, hey, look, bro, why don't we just go out here, let us let us let us speak up peace. Know what I'm saying? I talked to Jonathan about it. I said, let us speak up peace real quick. That way we can go ahead and get this shit out in the open and figure out what's really who's lying and who's telling the truth. For the most part, we see Jonathan's receipts and your behavior contrary to what happened on my live shows me that you are pretty much a, a, a habitual liar. You know what I'm saying? And you will lie just to make sure that you spread a narrative and you saying that we cloud chasing, baby. I ain't going to lie to you. I was doing good before Jonathan was my friend, before I became friend with Pay, before I became friend with I Speak, before I became friend with uh Voodoo Bay. I only been on this app technically going on six months as a content creator and I don't need to do <coughs> no cloud chasing to get anywhere on here. 
So it looked like to me you're doing a whole lot of deflecting and projecting. And please just don't bring my name into it. That's all I ask. You know what I'm saying? Like you got a problem with John because you wanted to be over there and do him some kind of way for me. And we seen the receipts. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, it'd be different if I didn't see text messages and they were read out. And then I see my brother flipping out. And you wanna know the crazy part? You sitting up here talking about the money. You know what he really mad about? That you stole it. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Slim, chill, 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 I'm chill, just chill. saying, like, like, come on, man. You want to sit here and make this shit into a, you want to make a mockery out of the whole situation. Look, talking about I, I, don't, I didn't create a safe space for everybody. I created a safe space for everybody. I even asked Pat to come to my platform. I would have asked I speak the other night, but, you know, we not mutuals. You know what I'm saying? So that was that. I don't give a fuck about this internet <coughs> shit as much as people as other people do. I, I understand the principles that people stand on, and I respect them for their principles. So all of this shit that you're doing right now, mama, I ain't gonna lie to you. How do we know that you're telling the truth? How we how we supposed to believe you when you just set up here in bold face like you the middle bold face line on all of your platforms? And not only that, you didn't create fake pages to go under John's videos. And stitch these comments just to get some attention. Damn, tell me where I lied. What I lie about? You lied and said that we talked about you like a dog. No, that's not. And a lie. that never happened. That's not a lie. That's not a lie. Okay, then I'll say this, Slim. Things that I didn't want to hear about myself. That I'll say. We that. never said nothing about you. All we said was, "Damn." So this who you've been talking about? This yeah. And we changed the subject. We changed the subject and went on about our day. So oh, you were talking about me, or you weren't. You said we talked about you like a dog. And I just when we said that that's who Jonathan's been talking about, that was that was for context. That I didn't like. And we didn't even mention your name. And we went on about our day. Hold on, hold on, Trina. You got the same respect that they gave you for muting. You got to mute yourself too, Bobby. Yeah, you got you got to be able to finish. I want Slim to finish his point. And John, John, this, this is who it's about. I want John to 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 respond to everything you said, and then I want Voodoo Ben I speak to to chime in their opinions. So, Slim, finish your point, bro. So, so all of this that you up here doing, trying to drag my name, baby, please go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Feel free, but don't, 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 don't quit clout chasing to do it. You know what I'm saying? Make some good, go ahead, get off of here. Think about what you want to say. Find some videos, stitch them, make good content, and do it that way. Instead of trying to jump on anybody's platform, looking for sympathy and expecting somebody to feel sorry for you because we seen everything that, we, we seen it in his phone and your behavior and actions after the fact. Have showed that I don't believe that my man's lying. All right, mute Slim. Go ahead, John. Give me, give me uh, one minute and thirty seconds. Go ahead, Buddha Bay. Let me hear your thoughts. I don't have any thoughts. I'm just here listening. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> what about you, Aunt? <coughs> Anthony. All right. Andrew, All right. Can you hear me? All right, never mind. Hello, Go ahead, John. Hello. All right. So, a lot of people, for some reason, people keep, or uh, anybody, if you're making the uh, speculation that I am mad at her about money, I am not. Everything that I sent her was as a friend. She wanted to be my friend. So, I said, if you need help, send it to her. The moment I sent her the $2,000, the only thing that was left inside of my bank account was about $400. And I was using it all for food. She asked me for money again, and I sent her my bank account, and it had $300 in it. You may ask me, why, John, why would you give somebody all the money that you had? Listen to the shit she told me. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, hmm, you legit went through this, 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 and as having panic attacks, having panic attacks inside of your car with passengers. If money is what's going to help you in that situation, let me give it to you. And through that, we ate, we FaceTime eight times. I have the receipts. Ask her to show you one receipt. We FaceTime eight times and on every single time, she would try to throw herself at me. And I was like, hey, it is what it is. You like chill because I was insecure because I was let down, because I was hurt, and I was in a situation where I felt like I wasn't valuable. Why? Because I wasn't. 
I was living in an apartment that was dirty as shit, all fucked up, messed up, and I was depressed. I was crying almost every single day. It was to the point where she was even like, hey, I saw that video you made. It was very sad. And I was like, I'm just trying to build. I'm just trying to grow. I'm just trying to do the next thing. So it got to the point all the way where she was actively laying in bed to me, with me. She was with me in bed. And this is where the scam came in. I lost a 3.5 worth of weed and I asked my friend, I asked my friend to help me look and she said no. And at that moment, I realized she was not my friend, that she did not care about me. Because anytime I see somebody in danger, anytime I see somebody that needs help, I immediately help them. And she even said while she was talking, she, I, the moment she let me know something was wrong, I was like, here you go. The moment she let me know her tires was fucked up, I was like, here you go. But I'm sitting here with my weed gone. With my weed just missing. And you ain't gonna lift a finger to help me, bro? And then she gonna say on live stream, she smoked the shit. How you smoke the shit while I'm sleeping? How you smoke it while I'm sleeping? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Just be like, oh, I smoked it. Bro, I'm sitting here the whole next day. She's gone and shit. She is gone and shit. She is gone. She is gone the whole next day. I'm mad about my fucking 3.5. I'm mad about my weed. I'm mad about my shit. And she is sending me text after text after text talking about how small my D was, talking about how I wasn't shit, talking about how I wasn't anything, talking about how all these negative things. And I'm sitting here like, you still got my weed. So anything, it didn't matter about the money. It mattered about the fact that my friend wasn't really my friend and I was helping somebody that didn't give a fuck about me. All they wanted was the money. And I legit said inside of the text, you got the money you wanted, leave me alone. And off of that, she couldn't. She started messaging people on Facebook. She started sending them different shit. She started calling me a trick. She started making videos and trying to uh, like blow up my Facebook page. And off of that, I was like, I'm done with you. So it wasn't until last Sunday when she reached out and she was like, hey, I'm trying to apologize. And I was like, you have no reason to apologize before. You can leave me the fuck alone. You can leave me alone. And the, through the whole apology, she was talking about, I've never been in a situation with a guy that was genuine with no agenda. And I'm sitting there reading this and I'm like, you ain't going to apologize for smoking my fucking wig. Fuck the money. I don't care. I don't care. Give me my 3.5 back, please. Please give me my Trina, 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 do you got do you got a 3.5? You got a 3.5 or not? So, run him is 3.5, please. Listen, I got a whole whole half ounce if you need a job. Like I told him, he purchased two two pre-rolls and a 3.5. We smoked a pre-roll together. Hold on, because I'm not, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Let me finish. So it gets all the way to the point where I'm <coughs> realizing I, I go to her social media page and she's making, she's grabbing posts from my page and putting it over there. And I'm like, yo, what is going on? And it gets all the way to this. There's no service here. One second. But it gets all the way to this. And I'm sitting here like, she's messaging my friends. She's jumping in into my videos, messaging my friends. And then this. Yo, this is crazy. And thank you, Amber, for tagging me. Even though this bitch still stalks me, I blocked her and moved on with my life. But to see someone going through the exact same thing, same MO, using your daughter as bait, saying that you have no food, you're not eating because all the food you have, you give to her. This girl set a hotel on fire with people inside of it, stole the hotel TV and keyed my car for nothing. I brought my involvement with Trina Dahlia to TikTok so that everyone could be aware of who she was, but apparently not to reach enough people because this should not be happening. And then the way that she drags that baby all over and puts her in harm's way is just unimaginable. I blocked her and went on with my life, but I see that it's time for me to get her ass together. I'll go watch this man's story and see what she's been up to all the while while stalking me. She was saying she was and I'm saying she's I'm not the only even the only person that she's stalking. The only reason I made the videos because I'm like, dang, this lady is legit wilding, like legit wilding. Like I don't understand what's going on. And I go to her page, and the very first thing she's saying is, I don't have no money to eat. I don't have no money uh, at all. I got to go out and steal something. And I'm sitting there like, you're going to go steal something. And then I look at her video and she's saying, dang, she stole the TV and stole the shit. So she really out here just stealing shit and setting on fire. Wait, wait, so she's wait, using wait, wait, individuals. Katrina. 
Trina, did you really steal the 3.5? Keep it a bean. No. John was saying that there was more than one 3.5. Because like I told John, I told John in his apartment, when you were asleep, I was smoking. Uh, he was trying to make it seem like there was more than one 3.5 and the other one was gone. Because he had purchased weed for me. There was two. There was two. He had purchased weed for me, which is why, again, I didn't feel no type of way about. Oh wait, no, nah, no, nah, wait, you, wait. If you're gonna roll up now, you gotta turn the camera off because they're gonna ban the whole live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he, um, he had per. Oh shit, he had purchased but weed. So that's why I also didn't feel no type of way about him smoking or me smoking it while he was asleep. The reason why I didn't help him look for it was because, again, my flight was already changed that night. John's weed went missing the morning that I was going, quote unquote, meant missing the quote the morning that I was leaving. So as he's asking me to help him look for it, my lift is literally pinging him that it's five minutes away. No, because not only am I irritated as fuck by you, the way that he handled the 2K that he sent me months prior and tried to use that 2K as a free ticket to some Punani months later. And the way he tried to make it seem like I said I was going to escort out of his house, which was never what I said. I was already irritated with John. So that on top of me ready to be ready to be home because I'm stressed out by you and your crap and your room being a disaster. I'm not helping you find a thing. I told you what happened with the weed that was mine. Whatever you saying you bought for yourself, baby, that's on you. No, I didn't help him look for a thing. And like I said about his messages, I, everything he said in his messages, I also said that's why it's not receipts. The only thing I didn't say was that I went off on him, which I honestly forgot. But again, I ain't going to refute it because I'm a hell on wheels when I'm mad. I've said this several times. Several. Can, I, can I say something? <laughs> sure. Hey, okay, so if you knew you smoked it while you were asleep, why you just tell him, nah, I ain't finna look it. I ain't finna look for it because I smoked it while you were asleep. Because I smoked it. Because I smoked it. She did not tell me that. She did not tell me that. I'm sitting there looking for the shit still. She could have been like, oh, I smoked it. I would have been mad about her smoking it, but I'm mad to this day. Because hey, I Trina, that Trina, Trina, can I ask you a question real quick? Did yeah. you tell Aunt Karen on the live last night that you did, in fact, smoke it? Yes, I told John that. The weed that was for me, I smoked. He was making up a whole extra 3-5 that I had not seen, knew nothing about. And the time that he asked me about it, which was the morning of me leaving, no, I was not about to stop what I was doing and help him look for it. Wait, but you just said you... So you did smoke his 3.5? No, I smoked the 3-5 he bought for me. He's saying that there were two 3-5s. I'm saying, no, there wasn't. There was the one you bought me, and I smoked it. So, so can I can I bring another point into question, right? <coughs> good, good. Well, and, and, and instead of telling John that uh, you're not gonna look for it, why didn't you just say what? what are, are those in the receipts, John? Kind of. I didn't seen. I didn't seen the text message thread. It, it, is is in the receipt said? Nah, I smoked three five for me. You didn't buy two three fives. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Because again, I told him this in his face. Uh, wow. yeah. he, uh, he, so he he That's confronted you about the three. He told you to look for it, and then he said you started his week. But didn't you get detained for having some weed on you when you left? Did no, I get, no, no. Did I get detained for having weed on me when I left? No. No. Headed to LAX. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, I ain't Frank Lucas. I, I don't know too many people getting through TSA with a 3-5. I ain't gonna lie, I made it back to Texas with edibles and all that. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about, and gas. Yeah, you can fly. You can fly on LAX yes. with weed. Play with TSA. And they had the dog. And I was like, I don't have nobody there to stop at their place and smoke with. Like, his whole scenario made no sense. And again, like I said, Jonathan bought for me two pre rolls and a. Which is why I had no problem smoking it, even though he was asleep. So the next morning, a uh, whole new 3-5 that I had not seen be purchased, quote-unquote, came missing, and I was already irritated, stressed out, and ready to go to hell home on top of, again, telling him, I don't know what to tell you because I smoked what I had, and your room is atrocious. Th that was it for me. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you. you I'm You're gonna let it hope you okay. All hey, right. can you please stop the, the insults and the roasting? Because I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, 
Yeah, cause I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, like, like look, I, will, I, I I got canceled over here before, and I'm only up here today for this shit. And I'm pretty sure I'll probably get canceled again. I'll be I'll be back on the uh, uh, not not welcome list. But I ain't gonna lie to you. That's my brother, and and everything that you've done over the last couple of days, I've yet to respond to you for the shit that you called me. You called me slim ho sauce, slim bitch sauce, all of this, and I ain't referred to you as nothing other than Trina or really on the cool. I've I've but, given you no name. Me and you have. I and when I feel disrespected, it's no hoes. You got disrespected because I asked you to step down and I blocked you from my I, live? How? I, can, I have the right to reserve who can enter my lives and who can't. You sure do. But like I said before, when you're in the live saying how you felt some type of way because you weren't allowed to speak your piece and you were creating a safe space for all regardless <coughs> of who it was about, then you blocked me and y'all could proceed to the live to say, I'll, I'll yet again, change my verbiage and say, say things about me that I didn't like without me being able to speak up for myself. That pissed me off. I felt so, so what did we say? What did we say specifically that you didn't like? Please tell us. A narcissist comment and trying to make it seem like follow him around. I can't really tell you. You're, 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 you're lying because I don't, I don't, I don't condone anyone calling anyone a narcissist because I mean, you must be a clinical physician to be able to die, diagnose someone with narcissist disorder. Because that is a disease. Everybody is not a narcissist, though we all possess narcissistic traits. So that is a falsity. So next, next slide. And the girl with the longer weave, they called me a narcissist. They pointed out how I wasn't letting them talk over me when they were trying to interject. And they said that I was doing that on purpose to control the conversation. You it, didn't even have that much oh, time to talk, mama. Sweetheart, I'm not for you about what I heard. You so disrespected and I told you, period. You, 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 you felt so you felt disrespected by the illusions that you made up in your head. If, if that hey, if that's how you want to, if that's how you want to say it, fine. Like I said, I told you why I was felt disrespected because I heard so, I not only didn't like, but I couldn't defend myself behind. And you, like, what I, did you have to defend other than we found out that you were the woman that John has been talking about, and I I, I didn't want you in my life no more because I, normally this dude's a cool dude. And, and 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 when I seen him losing his shit because I he lost that. the phone, found the phone, and then once he found the phone, he started going through his text messages and he was looking at this shit. And now he falling apart. I, I'm looking at it like, hey, um, where are you going? When when I seen the text message, I was like, now nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I really didn't have nothing to say about you because it's not my situation. But I don't fuck with you because my brother don't fuck with you. And that's fine. I don't care about that. I said with my problem. So so I'm normally I'm normally in two places. I'm on past live, I'm on Slim's live, or I'm inside of a random debate live of like some of the people that I follow. But for the most part, I'm just chilling out with these two individuals. So when I saw her pop up in there after already going to my page trying to um get people to talk about a tape, what was it? Trying to get people to buy a, a tape that me and her made together. And I'm sitting there like, you want somebody to buy it for a lot because you're struggling like that then promote the shit like, you're, that, that's what you got to do but other than doing that she's using my name and my image to try to make herself money to try to make her videos yeah back in the day but so i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm like what's going on so i found the phone and i look yes the reason we were meeting up was because my friend said that she needed money she needed to eat <laughs> she needed to make money and i was like oh at this time i'm doing only fans so we had made a tape together. Yes. And we were supposed to be making money so that she can um be good. Wait, but wait, when wait. I saw she, she she made a she made a tape with you, but then she called you dirty and said you had a small dick. I'm confused. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So she, I say it was go ahead. If I did, I probably was rattling off stuff like most people do. When Actually, they're... let's let's talk about why Yo, you, you literally just said that man. You from just said dirty. it, love. You just said it on this live. Come on, don't do that. Absolutely. Yeah. I didn't say he was you know dirty. Yeah. It was fucked up. I was depressed. Oh, I was crazy. depressed and fucked up. My hair was all over the place. Okay, literally. Man. Definitions of calling people dirty. When I okay. call a person dirty, I'm saying... No, no, no. I was dirty. All right. Okay. Dirty. okay. 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 All right. Let, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I let him speak because he's been I quiet the whole time. I think it's time for me to speak because I've been sitting here listening <laughs> to this and I'm going to tell y'all what my take on this is. Can, can all y'all mute your mics, please? Because this, this, is, this has gotten to be a bit much. What it sounds like to me is that again i don't know anything about these two individuals beyond me following john's platform and hearing his story and things like that right 
What it sounds like, based on what she's saying, is that she ain't used to a God like John, who is genuine. If he sees someone in need, he has no problem helping them. You tried to get him before you got got, not realizing he wasn't trying to get you in the first place. You smoked a man weed, wouldn't even help him find it afterwards because you knew you smoked it. And you messed over a dude that was genuinely trying to be there for you. And then you acknowledge you ain't never had a guy like that before in your life. I never so said that. that oh, so so what in I... that, the problem, no, no, I, I didn't over talk anybody. I sat here quiet. The everybody mute, everybody mute. Trina, Trina, mute, please. Everybody mute. Yeah, no, 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 not you, Aunt. You speak. Everybody else mute. I speak. You got to speak. I I'm, I'm she said out of her own mouth because I don't like being used. Every time she asked me for money, I didn't give it to her. But every time she let me know she was in need, I immediately gave it to her while she was laying in bed with me, right next to me, right next to me. Lit. She was telling me she wanted to go escort. And I'm saying you're trying to build the friendship into a relationship, but you want to escort from my house? How much money you need to do that? And what I did was I sent her the money because I was like, here you go, you fucking slut. Like I was tired. I was mad. And I was like, here you go. And then after that, after I sent her the money, she changed, she changed her flight to an earlier date. And not only did she change her flight, and we're talking about dirty, before we even had sex, I told her to get into the shower and she was mad about that shit. I was like, hey, you a little bit funky. Get into whoa, the shower. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is, this is getting messy. I mean, that is what I'm known for, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, why are you smiling like that after he said because that? It's that because it's true. Because it's true. It's completely true. Because it's completely true. She was talking about how dirty my room was. I was talking about how dirty that cat was. I was like, this shit stink. Get into the shower. And she got mad at me. And then the next day, she told me to get into the shower the same way. And I was like, bitch, you won't smell how I smell. You don't stink how I stink. You stink worse. You stink bad. You paid to sleep with me. So you paid to sleep with a funky coochie? I didn't pay to sleep with you. I made an OnlyFans video with you because you were my friend and I wanted to help you out. And then when you told me you wanted to escort, I said, take this money. I said, take this money because if money was all you wanted, get the fuck out of my house. Oh, what you said was so. You all right. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Right. Okay. So like I said, this is. Hold this on, is hold on, this, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let ask me. This is, this is what this boils down to. You tried to get him not realizing that he wasn't trying to get you and you wasn't used to a guy like him. And I seen somebody in the comments say men do better. No, if you a genuine dude and you say, okay, I see that this person is genuinely trying to build something with me. I can acknowledge that for having, especially if we just take it the social media route, because she mentioned him being verified on Facebook and everything like that. When you have a large creator, what ends up happening is, especially when you're trying to build something with somebody, and I've seen this happen multiple times on this app, for people that have large platforms, they're apprehensive towards building with people because they're not sure what their intentions are going to be. John is not a bad person for sending her bread and her being in need. You trying to flip it to be like, oh, you dropped me two racks for some ass. No, he's telling you, you were in need. You've acknowledged on multiple occasions that you asked him <coughs> for money. So in that, if you were in need and he was genuinely trying to build something with you, in his mind, he's thinking, oh, damn, well, let me show her really and truly, you know what I'm saying, how much I'm down to help her out and see her succeed and see her be successful. That I, No, 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 don't put your finger up because I was quiet the whole time. I was sitting here for damn near 40-something minutes quiet. No, I, and I'm not being disrespectful. No, no. But you brought my name up. That's why I'm up here. You brought my name up in a completely unrelated situation. So now I'm here. So continuing on. What ends up happening here in situations like this, good men get fucked over by women that's trying to scam them, not realizing that we had never any intention to do them wrong in the first place. You recognized in the very beginning that you know how to get money up out of men. You know how to get what you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's your cat. Hey, do what you want. Hey, get your money, make your bag. But don't try to mess over a good man that was genuinely looking for something other than what you used to and then get mad when he say, oh, I recognize you on that bullshit. Kick rocks. I'm good on you. That's exactly what happened. You just literally laid it out for all of us. And the problem here lies in the fact that we can see right through it. 
you tried to mess over a good man because in your mind, you were probably thinking, I don't know how long this is going to last. He's dropping me bread. I'm more attracted to him because he's giving me more money. I've never had this before. I've never had a genuine dude be there. You just said, I'm giving you your words right back and analyzing them in the process. <coughs> That's exactly what you said. You said you became more attracted to him when he kept sending you money and supporting you. That's exactly what you said. And no. I don't know if you have like selective hearing because no. you literally just said that his room was dirty. And then you said, I never said that he was dirty. If his room is dirty and he's the one that lives there, that makes him dirty. Let's not play semantics with that. You made a whole OnlyFans video with the man, then said his dick was small it was big enough for you to make that video and then re-ask him for consent to repost the video so thereby it must not have been too small it's like you can do these things with individuals but then you shit on them afterwards i'm giving you back your exact words and that's not okay there's nothing okay about that at all and now you're mad that you're not getting the sympathy that you want when the reality is that you tried to mess over a good man then you tried to clout chase thereafter and it was tasteless it was tasteless. You could have just taken the L and said, you know what? It didn't work out. Woody whoop, whatever, whatever. Boom, I'm done. No, you you brought it back here to social media to try and make this man seem like a bad person. And that's not cool. There's nothing cool about that. And you're I don't know how much you know about me, but you're not gonna overtalk me. I was completely quiet and respectful while you were talking, and I never butt in one time. You can say whatever you want to say, but I'm not the guy for that. You're so not again, continuing on as I land this plane that should have been landing landed a couple minutes ago, maybe about 10, 20 minutes ago. The bottom line is this. What happened, happened. You said what you needed to say. He said what he needed to say. As a collective, we can acknowledge that you tried to get him before you felt like he got you, not realizing he had never no intention to get you in the first place. <clears throat> Point blank, period. That sounded like a good man that seemed that he wanted to build something with a woman and he wanted to show her how serious he was. As men, we do that. And to the men in the comment section, final thought, to the men in the comment section that put that, you know, exemplify this type of pressure to a woman. Let's be very clear. In today's day and age, men like that are few and far between. Ones that will literally give without any expectation in return. All of that platonic building up all of that platonic building up, they were, based on what she's saying, was building something. And in the process of building with an individual, you want to show them how serious you are about them. So to the men in the comments section that exemplify this type of behavior, keep doing it. Keep doing it. There's a genuine woman out there willing to take your genuine nature and your genuine kindness and not flip it on you and try to make it seem as though you're a terrible guy. And I'm going to mute myself because damn. Can, can, can I speak? And get that man, it's 3.5. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny, that's the thing that, that's the thing. I got a whole half for you if you want it. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole half. Bro, I do <laughs> want it. I do want it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't a 14. Yeah. It's, like a, it's, it's, it's not a 14. I, it's like a 220 photo. You know what I'm saying? It's like a 220 yeah, photo. Yeah, You really got to run him back. No, it was the fact that she was not even my genuine friend. Yeah, you got to run that back. Swim. It was the fact that she was not my genuine friend. How do you not help somebody look for something you know they lost? Legit. The moment she told me she was in need, I helped. I didn't ask her for anything back. I was like, here you go. Anytime she would ask me for money, I was like, bro, I don't like being used. And it wasn't until she was laying in bed next to me when I realized, oh, that's what this is. That's what this is. I see people saying how much is a three five. It don't matter for black people. It be the principle. You notice he not tripping it's on the, the money that was sent. It, it was the fact that it was the principle that she stole a three five, and all he wanted to do was be her friend. It's like it's like I'm friends with somebody. If I like for real, I will give people money all day. You ask me but the fact that you take some shit. That's what that's what goes above and beyond me. And the fact that she stole the shit was the fact that I was like, bro, I'm I I never had a friend in the first place. I never had somebody there in the first place because when she asked me for money, I didn't send her nothing. When she let me know she needed something, I sent it to her. And then when she's laying in bed next to me talking about she wants to go escort in the city after talking all this shit about wanting to be in a relationship, talking all this shit about wanting to be with me. Can I said, I here goes some fucking time? money. Can I said, I, here goes the money. Can I pop my shit one time? Because I've been dragging. I've really been like trying my best to make sure I didn't know. 
I didn't say the wrong things in this time. This is this whole. I would say time. I would say time and place. Just remember time and place. That's all I can say about. That. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, okay, it, I can go off. Or no, you saying time no, and place? No, I'm saying time. listen to the statement. Time and place. Like where are we right now? What are we mm-hmm. talking about? <laughs> like, all right, I, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's pet live. It's pet live. I know. I, I ain't gonna lie. These next couple of jokes I got, they 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 been in the chamber, and I just didn't want to give you no clout. Before I ain't, you, gonna, I ain't gonna do it to you. Tell your jokes. Because you, you are funny. I'll give you that. But I want to address two things. One, to the people who saying I'm clout chasing. This happened between me and John, the whole situation over a year, or or, or I think close to a year. <coughs> and it didn't come back until she Excuse grabbed me. the comments from inside of my comment section Excuse and made a video and posted online. And then I messaged her and I was like, hey, you don't have to post a video. And she said out of her own mouth. Not you. Hello. I'm, I'm talking. Thank you. Keep uh, talking. If I were cloud chasing, when I was pissed, when I was ranting and raving and calling him all type of little D this and little D that, it would have been on the internet. If I was cloud chasing. I did not bring this to It was on the internet. And I got the receipts where she sent me the receipts of her actively talking to my fans on Facebook. It was on the internet. She when? put it on the internet. When? You mean when I went I'll home? show you. I've already acknowledged that, didn't I? If I didn't, okay, yeah. When I left and went, Mama, home, this man walking around with a whole of critics. Do you think he want to lie about anything? What does that have? This to- is a hetero man walking around with a whole of critics. He don't give a fuck about nothing at this point in time. He don't care about nobody's opinion. Just to lie to him, just 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 to kick it. He's not a point. Hardly, but I mean, we have a difference of opinions, so. I wanted to address the clout chasing because, like I said, I didn't bring. The- <laughs> but you are clout chasing because I'm gonna be. Hold on, hold on, guys, guys, guys. Let let her let her get. I'm gonna mute. Because again, like point. I could see the clout chasing argument if I had just randomly brought these videos and made these videos on TikTok trying to create a situation. That's not what happened. I commented on John's page because that was pretty much the only way I could contact him. You can't send um, direct messages on TikTok if that person isn't following you, and I didn't have his number. And when people were trying to make the situation a situation, I shut it down. I didn't talk about it. I didn't answer no questions about it. This man brought it to the internet, addressing me saying his room was dirty. I don't know about y'all and your, where y'all are from and what y'all have experienced, but for me, if I say the room was dirty, I mean the room. And I said that verbatim. I never called that man dirty. Hold what on. the fuck? We talking about that in here. You, you, you mixing situations. You can't keep your story straight. Addressing what I speak said. Because, I mean, I, I get it. Y'all friends and y'all cool. And, and it's it's hard to see your friend in any other life than your friend. It ain't got nothing to do with that. You said the man's room was dirty. He lives there. That makes I, him dirty. Ask me to respect you. So do the same. You didn't respect me. You didn't. I muted myself several times. I just wasn't about to let you lie. But it, you just hey, can, I, can I say, can I say, can no, I, I say, can I add? Hey, whoa, I add? hey, 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 hey. Everybody's over talking. I got a migraine. I'm like, I'm like hungover. No. One at a time. Hey, I like that you changed your bandana too. But can I just show more context for the cloud chase? More context for the cloud chase. Because see, she deleted the videos on her page, but this is the page she didn't think I knew about. Feel me? This is the John Mouse LOL Liar page. Feel me? Oh, hold on. I wasn't done. This this, this is the John Mouse LOL Liar page with videos on it where she's attacking my friends and John, which you can see. It, and it this doesn't is her. have live access. It's only 41 followers. She's been clout chasing the whole entire time trying to get her story heard. Everybody, and this is her. What, this let right her here. finish, guys. Go for it. I know how to talk over grown men. Can I speak or No, you can't speak. Anyway, so this no, right John, here. I'm he asked John, question. I'm serious. Asked let her speak. Let her finish. Anyway, Go. I addressed everyone on that panel that day in Slim's live. Like I, I did say that. I acknowledge that. I said from the beginning of this live, when I am angry, when I am disrespectful, just like I told Slim when I was trying to resonate with him in his box, it ain't no rules with me once I feel disrespected. And can't nobody or 1,000 of y'all tell me what my boundaries are when it comes to being disrespected. Slim, just like they couldn't tell you what being disrespected is. When you felt disrespected, you felt disrespected regardless of what was actually happening. Period. Because there were plenty of people when you felt disrespected that were saying you weren't being disrespected. But could nobody change your mind? So regardless, I felt disrespected. And when I'm disrespected, all bars, all all bets are off. Just like when I felt some type of way about John trying to cancel my flight and cancel my lift and leave me stranded across the country. So when I finally was safe and away from him, I went the fuck off. 
Absolutely I did. And I said everything I could to hurt his feelings. Wait, wait. You said he left you stranded and canceled your so flight? I tried to. I said he tried to. And, tried and to, okay. Again, he did cancel the lift, and I had to rebook the lift. He only couldn't cancel my flight because I had already checked in. It was too late. I talked to, to the Delta. Like I talked to the Delta. That's the only fucking reason I know. That's the only way I even know. Literally. So again, when I realized he was trying to leave me stranded across the country, but he just wasn't able to, I was pissed off and I went off. Now, some of y'all may be angels and good Samaritans. And when you're mad at someone, you still care and you still, you know, have some sort of coof as to what you're saying. I might now sometimes, and I can't even say that because I still will act a fool. But especially then, with everything I was going through, no, bro, you, I'm going to go in on you. And I really held back a lot of the things I wanted to say to keep it a thousand. But I would, and like I said, if you the type of person to where you feel some type of way or you feel someone put you in a fucked up position like Taya and you just going to let it ride, hey, teach me because I don't, I, I ain't built like that, period. Now, to address the dirty situation, where I'm from, being dirty, being messy, being junky in your room, <coughs> being a dirty person. I know hella females that are not the cleanest people environment-wise, but hygienically, like their body, the way they carry themselves, they aren't dirty. Can we say way. women? We say women over here, not females. Women, 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 not females. Women, women. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm speaking. No, no, um, no, you can't. No, Trina, no, you can't. She, he's right. The women in this chat do not like to hear the word female. Just say women. That's it. Respectfully, just say women. They don't like the word female. I, I don't I'll mean do, to cut you off. I'm just saying. I, I'll do a few. Um. Anyway, my point in that was, I mean, that's semantics to me. But my point to say that was to say me and the way I think is a person being dirty is their personal hygiene, the way that they carry themselves. That is not necessarily always a reflection of a person's room and their space because i also knew that this man battles mental health issues so i know that whole depression mess and all that type of stuff i didn't try to like throw it back at him as far as a jab until after i was mad so that was to address that as far as i speak saying that i thought i had a good one and i had never experienced anything like that i'll say this again i have been a full service escort dancer and cam girl for the better part of a decade Men have sent me way more, have given me way more off top first night in the club than two bands. It was not the money that made me more attracted to him. And I said it was more so his willingness to try to show a person that he was romantically involved in that, hey, I'm not above helping you, even though I'm not in the best situation. That's what it was about. And that's not me saying I've never experienced that. It was just more so I felt I thought it was selfless of him to be poor himself, but send me all his money. And then, like he said, when I actually asked him for help and he sent me his bank account screenshot, which he did, I was like, oh, damn, like that made me even though he said no, even that made me more attracted to him because I had realized like, yo, this man damn near emptied his bank account for me. Come to find out that wasn't his only bank account. He was just. Yet again, doing what John does, creating a person. Trina, can I? Trina, respect. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, John, hold on, John. Trina, respectfully, respectfully. I'm not about to overtalk grown men. No, I wasn't trying to overtalk you. Are you done? I'm not done. Okay, my, my apologies. I thought you were done. I thought you were done. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I want to address everything you said at first. Uh, so uh, that was in, in regards to me just being wild. By Okay, like that wasn't the thing. It, it was, if anything, it was the sentiment behind, and it was the speed in which he was willing to help. Like I said, and it was mixed signals in my mind because, on one hand, I thought it was cool, and I, I thought it was strange. <coughs> other for seventeen days. As far as saying I was trying to get all that I can get out of him, the problem with that, I was putting uh, not financially. I won't say financially at all. I ain't never gave no man money. But as far as every other aspect of our connection, tension wise, effort wise, keeping in contact, I mean, he even showed y'all like I wasn't just talking to this man to get something from him. I wasn't only in communication with him when I needed something. I was trying my stay in contact with John pretty regularly. We talked pretty regularly. I don't know what call logs he deleted, and that's why I wanted my laptop so that I can show the messages and our call log unaltered. But I don't have it. And when I get it back, 
I will show that regardless of how late, you know, how far past it's been. But I don't have it, so. All I can do is speak. You know what I'm saying? Wow, and, like Trina, I said, can I ask you? Can I, can I ask you a question go now? Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I know you mentioned earlier because one one of the things that I don't play about um, as a whole, regardless of who I'm talking to, is mental health. Right now, you mentioned earlier that you have anxiety. Is there anything else that you suffer with? I'm just genuinely asking. And no. you, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'll say not diagnosed. Um, not yeah. diagnosed. OK. And I mm -hmm. ask that because the things that you're saying now. I don't know if you're genuinely and I'm being so dead serious. I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all. The things that you're saying now, I don't know that you don't recognize that you're lying. You what literally am, hold on. Am, I got you. I got you. You okay. literally said earlier that when he started sending you money, that made you more attracted to him. You said that out of your mouth. Now you're saying, hold on. Now you're saying that, oh, it was just his willingness to you know, show you something more. That, that's exactly what you said. We were all listening. We were all listening. You said he sent you the two racks. Then you told him that you were in need. When you were in need, he didn't provide the money for you at that time. The time that he sent you money, hold on. The oh, time my. that he sent you money was unprovoked. Pat, and not... then you said you became more attracted to him when he kept sending you money. You specifically said that. I not expound on why that feeling occurred because uh, i'm quite sure that i said when i said because again I, and i'm still not refuting that his action towards me made me more attracted to him but i'm quite sure that i expounded on that and i said you didn't clearly the money you didn't you didn't okay. I, i'm telling trina respectfully i'm telling you you didn't you specifically said he started sending you money and that you can't lie that made you more attracted to him you did not expound upon that Okay. You I just see. did. Yeah, you just did. But it, before you didn't. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll take that. Then how does that, that make it a lie? How does that make it a lie? Because you didn't expound upon it until you got pressed about it. I didn't get the same, the same with the comment. Hold on. The same with his comment about the room being dirty and his dick being small. It was cool enough for you to smash him in it. It was cool enough for y'all to make a video. But now you said you got back and all of a sudden, you know, y'all, it, it was cool enough for y'all to lay up, Hold but it. you got back and then you acknowledge yourself. Hold on. You acknowledge yourself. I wanted to say everything that I could to hurt his feelings. Yes. I was pissed. Yes. And like I said, if you guys are the type of people that would be pissed. And I mean, honestly, I speak I, and this ain't changing my perspective of you at all. I think you are a very stand up dude. But I've seen you say a hell of disrespectful things about people that have pissed you off. And because, I've been right. Guess what? And I've been right. I'm and, not going to say I'm not going to I'm not going to smash a person <laughs> and then say that her, her coochie or, stink if it really didn't stink. That feels you're right. There's a person that feels you're wrong. So, no, so, no, that's where receipts come into play. Okay, here was there. Here's the deal. Okay, you just said that. Acknowledge me one person that I've said something about that I didn't have receipts for. Acknowledge me one. I mean, to be honest, and I'm gonna just be honest with you, I've never seen any of your your receipts as far as the whole drama. <laughs> that you, I've not seen any receipts from no, you. She like, acknowledge she me a person. You made a statement. Substantiate your claim. Acknowledge me a person. She draws, she, she's she's all done. What else? And I, and I'm sorry. I, hold on. I want to make this very clear. I didn't bring that up as far as you saying disrespectful things to say that that person that you were talking about was in the right. My point was to say that when it's you it's a moot point. Hold on. A, Wait. My point was to say because you brought up how I was saying things to anger him. My point in saying right. that we all do that. When you are upset with someone, you are not going to no. We don't all do that. That's what I want you to understand. And then lie hey. got unfollowed for making misogynistic comments because somebody pissed you off. Like who? Just, who who, who got unfollowed for making misogynistic I, comments? In this live with people Me? who have who are known for going in on people, right? When they're pissed. When they wait, been wait. hold when on. What misogynistic what? comments did I make? What misogynistic comments did I make that I got oh, unfollowed I, for? Him. Cause Slim was shaking his oh, head. Oh, he's talking about Slim. Yeah. I, oh no, we're not, we not talking about him. That that's deflection. We talking about me and you. You just I, said that people make comments I, when they're I, mad. The comments that I make about people, one thing that I can always produce is a receipt. 
And my thing is, when you make a statement, you got to be able to substantiate your claim. And the bottom line is playing semantics with an individual that you are genuinely acknowledging that you are trying to hurt does not make it right. Now, you can acknowledge, OK, I was in my feelings. I said it. Cool, whatever. But then don't go back on it when you get pressed about it. Any specific person on my platform, whether it's live or not, that I've ever said anything disrespectful about, et cetera, et cetera, I can produce receipts for. So when you say that, it does not apply to everyone. Now, if you want to haphazardly make statements about people that are false in nature, then go ahead, do your thing. But don't push that off on everybody else, more specifically myself, when I can literally produce a receipt on every single person that right. I've talked about. And the reason why, hold on, the reason why that is, is because the bigger our platforms become, the more we have to justify the things in which we say. So if anyone says, oh, you were disrespectful to this person, tell me the name of that person and I can produce you a receipt on why I said what I said, regardless of whether you agree with it or not but I can give you a receipt. You are making <laughs> comments about a man, this, about hey, a room hey. that you she laid finna, up in the bed. She finna start crying. We up in. Man. But you was cool with that. You made a video. Hold on, let's just put this into perspective now. You made a whole tape with him that you just acknowledged that you hit him up recently to ask, re-ask his consent for, to repost, right? But then you would also go far as to say he got a little dig. That, that don't add up. That yeah, does not add up. You gonna add shit on the man. Because Wait. you're mad, but then you're going to hit him up thereafter to Wait. repost a video to make some money. Wait, and I want to, and I want to add. Foul, I, I don't, don't want to respect. Hold on, hold on. Respectfully to John, I don't think his dick is little. He lo it looks like he's packing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Here's the real, real. I got a solid seven inch. That is above I'm, average. She just be fucking that. with tens and nines. Them niggas Same. be fucking her up. She even told. Me. <laughs> <laughs> like everything you're saying, like I'm still not hearing the lie. Because again, me saying that his penis. Then you're delusional. Then you're delusional. Got it. Okay. No, no. <laughs> it, what you're saying just doesn't make sense because you said, okay, you said I'm. No, lied. you just make statements wait. and then backtrack. Wait. Because you said I lied about the 2K and how it made me feel. You said I lied about that because I said him sending me money did make me more attracted to him. And then I expounded on that by saying that it wasn't necessarily the money, but it was his <sighs> willingness to help me. Now, if that is a lie to you, then that's fine. I don't care to The gaslighting not going to work over here, Trina. You it's not. You lied. You it. only went back on it because you got pressed about I, it. Come I, on. Be quiet. Own, your, own, own it. I'm not going to talk over you. Because, again... Then stop this, talking. That's, that, that's, that's how you fix the situation. That I, that I did wrong. But what I'm not going to own is some BS, right? So, like I said, he's saying that... And then expounding on why that attracted me is not a lie. That's me expounding on my feelings. He's saying that yes, we made an OnlyFans. Also, that I, I, I really did say he had a small peen when I was upset with him. Uh, uh, again, you I, can't say you probably. Stop. You just stop. said it. Stop. Stop. For one, I have made plenty of videos with men with, with minute penises because they paid me. So if you pay me, I'm going to provide the service. To be honest, although the OnlyFans video... receipts because I believe you're lying. Excuse me. Although the OnlyFans video was talked about, that was absolutely not the only reason why I was going out there. And it wasn't even for sure that it was going to happen. Jonathan was trying to give me time... <laughs> Get away from my situation and not be stressed out. His whole thing when we were cool was, I'm just trying to make you happy and make sure you're not stressed out. So when he scraped up the money to, what the hell? When he scraped up the money to fly me out, that was the basis. Let's relax. Let's have fun. Let's do this. Let's do that. So not, that had nothing to do. When it came time to OnlyFans again, that's when he got upset because I had already been kind of turned off with a lot of things that were going on. He was completely not the same person in person as he is in this rectangle. And he tried to use the two grand that he had sent me two months prior. What are you confused about that? I'm trying to figure out why this nigga licking his fucking... Never mind. God. He, he tried to use the two grand that he... I can't even look at something. That he sent me prior to me coming out there as a ticket to having sex with me 
and having it on OnlyFans. So when I let him know that that is not how I operate, if I'm not in a relationship with you, which we were not at the time, and you are trying to sleep with me and you really did want to make an OnlyFans video with me, you need to pay which is why John sent me two different Apple Pays while I was actually in L.A. with him. It was not to say, hey, I don't want you to escort this bad, so here, just take the money that you would have made and stay with me. No. And, and, and to be honest, like, I, I don't get how anything he's saying is making sense, but like I said, when I said that he sent me the money and that pulled me closer to him, as in it made me more attracted to him, all I did later was expound on that and, and give context as to why. Trina, but Hold on. When I said, penis, uh, I see how that has anything to do with us making an OnlyFans video. Like I said, I was upset. I was probably saying hella things. Honestly, I say a lot of messed up things when I get mad. And I'm working on it. I'm not trying to say it's right. I'm not trying to say because I feel I'm wrong that I can just go on a tangent and say all this crazy stuff because that's what I was talking to Slim about in his life. Like, I understand being disrespected and letting people know you got a, a real sniper mouth but it's not okay it's not cool to just hurt me like that and okay and still working on it but i got you i do that i did do that and like i said uh, this whole entire conversation i've taken accountability i should not have kept taking money from him at 2k i should not have flown out there uh there were so many things that should not have happened but they did and i, changed that. And I move on all right but now check now and he has a small penis like like that has nothing to do with the only fans video that i was paid for like i said i was upset period i was upset I uh, i'm going to let this be known now with the country. excuse me i felt like this man tried to leave me stranded across the freaking country knowing everything that i was going through knowing my situation and it pissed me off and now that i think about it i think i do remember Live, I think it was that same night, and and fake and all of his lives and videos about being poor and broke is all BS. Um, I think I actually remember that, but outside, I'll say after that week of us falling out, I didn't drag this on the internet, I didn't bring this back up. The reason y'all know about this now is not because of me. That's what I'm saying by I'm not, this is not me clout chasing. How, how is my trauma and my daughter's trauma? The things I've gone through, like how, what, what, how is that? What would I get? What would I get out of that? What well, let me ask. All right, so let me ask John directly. Then John, were you the one who brought this to the internet first, or was it her? It was her. Okay. She immediately. What happened right after she sent me a text? She immediately started going to my posts and grabbing people's comments, talking about when she started talking about a tape. All she had to do was do that, and then I deleted the comments. Then she grabbed a comment from somebody else. And made a video talking about why y'all always in our business. Talking I, about did we make a tape? Duh. And right when I saw that, I immediately went to her. Um, I immediately went to her. Uh, fucking um online because she even said, "Oh, hey, I did that, but I'm not trying to bring this online." And I have this right here. That's the I first correct. thing she messaged me from because y'all remember she said that you cannot message people that you are not following each other, and that is a complete lie because I was not messaging her when she messaged me. I'm still not following her. I have an actively blocked, and I can see the message. I'll show y'all right now. I also want to point something I, out while he's, while he's looking for that. I also want to point something else out again, which, like I said, this goes back into the lies being told, and I'm only going off of what is being said. You specifically said that you never tried to escort out that man's crib. I didn't. But then you just recently, hold on, but you just recently said, hold on, you just recently said, that you tried to escort out the crib and he told you, I'm going to drop you some bread so you can just stay here. You literally just said that, which to in his mind, he's probably thinking, I don't want you going to go do that. I want you spending time with me. You just acknowledged that. So you were. Dude. Dude. Ever said that I was Can I say not something, dude? Not, not you, ma'am. But can I say something, dudes? After you say what you got to say in your whole little, that's going to fuck my train thought up. So, Okay, never, so dudes. Oh, oh, you say you want to speak. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I got you. Yeah, let, 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 let her, let her My bad, her dude. Out. My bad, dude. Bro, bro, okay. let her get her thoughts out, bro. Come I, on, bro. You repeat what you just like. That's what I'm saying. He making me lose my train of thought. What did you just say? I speak. 
Oh, okay. No, I don't need you to repeat it. I don't need you to repeat it. What I said was Oh my God. See this What is what I was what I was simply doing is this. Trina, I don't Okay, so what, what happens here, right, is when you have a lot of stories and you're running them all together, what ends up happening is when hey. you get pressed about something specifically, no, I'm not done talking. I'll when you get pressed about something specifically, right, when you get pressed about something specifically, what ends up happening is in order to backtrack, you have to remember what was stated previously. I don't think you understand the things that you denied in the beginning of this conversation <laughs> versus what you're acknowledging now. That's why I asked the question that I asked about mental health. And I wasn't trying to be disrespectful because what you don't recognize right here, right now is you look like a liar. I'm, I'm being so honest with you. You look like a habitual liar. Because in the very beginning, you said no to this, no to that, no to this, no to that. And now speak, you're I backtracking speak. and acknowledging Man, multiple things and multiple situations right. that people are bringing issue with. The bottom line is this. I you speak. tried to get the man. I speak. It, it, it's very clear. You I tried to get the man and he had no intention on trying to put you in a situation that will fuck you over. You tried to get the man. You smoked the man weed and he was pissed. Dude, you start, I speak. You, you, Go he to her what he thought. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm not done. I'm not done. Good, he, good. Flew, he brought a genuine person that he felt as though he could build with a genuine friend and you fucked him over and then you stole from him that's not cool none of that is cool so in that what we're acknowledging right here right now is the things that you be impressed about you now backtracking on because you realize how bad it makes you look respectfully I, respectfully everything. i'm not done talking you asked me to be quiet while you were talking I was I, quiet. No. I muted my microphone. Everybody I, else, everybody else that was quiet while you were talking, we respected Pat and we muted our microphones. The bottom line is, is this, and, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, again, land this plane. You tried to fuck this man over, and he had no qualms upon which to do so to you. The things that you said in the very beginning, you were more attracted to him because he sent you money. And, you know, you never tried to escort out of his crib and that, you know, that was a lie. And then you just acknowledged, you just acknowledged, oh, well, let me expound upon that. Okay, cool. You expound upon it. But when you make a statement, you got to stand on that shit. And then afterwards you say, okay, he tried to send you bread thereafter instead of allowing you to go out into the city and do whatever, whatever. He, he's saying consistently on here, on his videos, on his lives, it was never about the money to him. It was about his 3.5. Now, I ain't never smoked no weed before, but I can tell by the weed smokers in the comments that that's a pretty big freaking deal. No, I'm that's, more that's of a, a I'm more of a, I'm more that's, of a drinker that's, myself. That's, that's, However, that's principle, principle is principle. If you smoke the man weed or you smoked weed in general, you could have just said that, hey, when you were sleeping, oh, I smoked some weed. And the man is saying, hey, listen, you said, oh, I'm not going to help you find it. You didn't say, oh, I, I smoke while you were asleep. But no, you just said, oh, yeah, I'm not helping you find it. it. I said that since the beginning. And no, you didn't. Actually, that's what I'm telling you, Trina. That's what I'm telling you. You didn't. You think you did, but you didn't. You did. said, he asked you. Hold on, Trina. You're saying he asked you, yo, that's where my weed at? No, I'm sorry. He asked you to help him find it. You told him no. Why would I help oh. this man? find anything then you roll back over that's what you said and then right. you later went on to say that you said to him hey yo why would i help you find this i smoked while you were sleeping you later said that to him that's i'm giving you back your words trina you specifically said that i later told him that i smoked while he was sleeping but you said in that moment you told him no i'm not helping you look for it so, therefore, that is called lying by omission. <laughs> Respectfully, Trina, you got to acknowledge that what you're doing right here is messed up. I speak. This is messed up, Trina. This is messed up. Respectfully. This is messed up. Yesterday or any of the videos. Hey, that hold on. I want Mr. you guys. Hold on. Mr. Mr. B Mr. Bass didn't get a chance to speak at all. Let me guys. say one thing. Let me say one thing because this, this is about me. I want you guys to go to her page. Go to her page and look at the videos where she specifically says that me and her started off in a romantic relationship because that's what she says in her videos is on her page. How did we start off in a romantic relationship when right here she said that we started off as friends and that's what made her more attracted to me? Boom. So how was the first 17 days supposed to be romantic? 
So, like I said, I never said, oh, me and those videos are deleted. See, okay, so she privated all that now because she knew she was getting called out because it was a lie. Because it was a lie. I can show you all that my videos were reported. I can show you that. I don't delete a thing. Every no video report. about John being mad. Show, show us. Show it's, us. Show us the receipts. That's going to be the only receipt that you have. Show <laughs> us. Like I said, I have this one iPhone. This is an Android, and I'm not okay. to try to take that. You can do it on any phone. Could you please show us the receipts? Just show you're us the saying we, we, we're, we're trying to believe before. you. Here. Everybody has been reported before. Yeah. We're Pat, trying to no believe you here, like. but you have not been able to substantiate any claims yeah. that you are making, dude. And yeah. I'm just saying it's making it really hard for us to believe you. You sound like I what hear. I was trying to tell. I speak. Yeah. You're not a habitual liar. You're a pathological liar. And that's the problem that we're having here. Your 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 pathology is taking over the moment. So yeah. if you have receipts. Can you please show those receipts about your videos being muted or deleted or reported? Like, please. Because the whole time you've been here, you've been making lies and then building upon lies. And this is why the live has been going on this long. You have yeah, not nice. said anything that has had any concrete proof or that you could actually substantiate. And that's the problem that we're having here. You're <laughs> under the guillotine because right now... You are good for views, but tomorrow we will forget about you. And you don't, you realize that. And I've been trying to let you make it because you said that, well, he, someone paid for, people were paying for your uh, services to make OnlyFans videos with, but I really don't believe so. You look like your cooch smells like Marlboro's. And he, that is the reason why I don't really care of anything that you have to say. I've been patient with you this whole entire time, but um, yeah, I'm tired of you. Really you tired of you because I, you're here trying to get clout and sympathy and nobody's going to give it to no, you. Tired. No one's going to give it to you, dude. Tired, remove yourself. I don't have to remove <laughs> myself. I play big brother. I, I want you to realize this. Even though I speaks look like a, a young James Earl Jones, Mufasa looking ass nigga, uh, and Jonathan is my younger brother, and Pat has detachable dreads, I am actually the oldest one on this panel, and I look at all of them as my brothers, and sometimes they're my little big brothers. So until you get your ass out of here and move on to Tar Nations, I'm going to be here. And that's fine, but don't tell me how tired you are if you're still here listening. Well, I mean, you're just lying at this point, and you don't want to admit that you're I, lying. I speak. I want to finish addressing I speak, right? Well, because, Mr. Bats didn't get his chance. Let's go to Mr. Bats. Who is, who is Mr. Bats? My, my boy, Mr. Bats, he's been here for like an hour. He's I, one, he's, a, he's an actor. He got killed by Kathy Bates in, in American Horror, Horror Story Cover. Go ahead, Mr. Bats. What? Go ahead. Oh. I'm, I'm dead serious. Yeah, he's an actor. Go ahead, Mr. Bats. Look, I, 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 I still can't believe Kathy Bates did you dirty like that, bro. I, I can't. What? Bro, I'm just, I'm just a low key to play devil's advocate, bro, because to a degree, at a point, it starts feeling like it's a bunch of men ganging up on this lady. And even though she's done a bunch of fucked up shit to a degree, I think there's nuance in this conversation. Like what I speak, I always say two things can be true at once. And as I'm hearing it, like as I'm hearing where she's coming from, I'm like, well, like you get, it sounds like you get in your feelings and then you fuck up. And you got all these other things going on in your head to like, again, to, and you had admitted that. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things that you've admitted later, but motherfuckers is like, you got to take accountability for what you said earlier. And that's why people are getting, that's what people are getting off on. Cause I'm coming in later and I'm hearing your story. And I'm like, well, I can understand a motherfucker getting mad and going off. Well, I can understand a motherfucker saying somebody got a little dick when they don't really mean it in the moment. Well, I can understand somebody saying that, well, they room dirty, but they really take baths so they're not dirty. I can see where she could be coming from. But then they got all other context of you harassing people and doing all this other shit that that's what really got people mad. And I'm like, it seems like a lot of people up here can't see past the initial reasons why they're angry because you ain't taking your lick on them initial things, even though I'm sitting here hearing you say that. I know I get, I'm hearing what you're saying. So I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of just sliding here. Like I said, devil's advocate. I want to hear what you're saying, love. I just want to hear what you're talking about because I think through the anger, the licks that you have taken keep getting ignored and you have taken some of your licks. But niggas is like, well, you took that lick, but you ain't really taking your licks. Hey, so I'm Mr. Like, okay, Mr. 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 Bats, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Bats, hold on, Mr. Bats. Let me, let me, talk, let me, let me, let me, let me put something in perspective. This just didn't start here, bro. 
no, no. This started no. with multiple lives, multiple videos, et cetera, et cetera. Hey. She's done a damn near a world tour hey. on other large black content creators' pages saying some of the things that she said here Can today I and lying about it, not thinking that we have it all heard and listened. Now, I can definitely acknowledge to you that visually, because I literally just text Pat and told him to get a woman up here. Visually, mm -hmm. I can understand that wholeheartedly. However, what, what my point was is that you can't just say something and then say you never said it, not realizing that that's exactly what you've done. And she's been doing this, bro, on large content creators' pages, trying to smear this man's name through the mud. And this happens far too often. And then when Good. the guy's side is taken, then the whole patriarchal conversation quick, comes up. Second. So the issue here is not really? just that she hasn't been taking uh -huh. her licks, because she took a couple of them, you know what I'm saying, this live. However, she was on a live previously, a live previously, a live, her own uh, sentiments, making videos, deleting them. So it's just like you're saying all of these things and then you're backtracking once people start pressing you about it. Um, One thing about a uh, 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 manipulation is that when you're in a space where people don't know the full context of what's going on, it's easy for you to manipulate them because they don't know the full context of what's going on. She don't realize, she asked me directly, did you see the live? Yes, I saw the live. Did you see the videos? Yes, I saw the videos. Why? Because I have to be made aware of things like this. So in that, she thinks that people are not doing their due diligence to do their research when the reality is that she tried to fuck over a good man. And that's not cool. And far too often this shit happens, right? And I get what you're saying. And I don't think it's a matter of playing devil's advocate. You just came in with a, an unbiased approach. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have no skin in the game for either one of these individuals. Either one. The bottom line is right is right and wrong is wrong. And she just acknowledged that she tried to say everything that she wanted to because she was mad. She acknowledged that. She, she took the licks on the chin of the statements that she made. However, when you make a statement and you don't stand on it and then you backtrack on it, visually, you are made out to be a liar. That's the point that I'm seeking to make. Now, when you expound upon it right thereafter, then you can give context to what you're actually saying. Now, afterwards, when you go on this world tour of lives, right? Saying a certain thing, hey, on this live, you're saying, I didn't say this. On this live, you're saying, I didn't say this. Now, on this live, you're saying, you know what? I did say that. That does not look good. That's the point that I was making to her. And I came respectfully talking because she mentioned anxiety. I have anxiety. I have depression. I'm in therapy right now. I don't play when it comes to mental health. That's why I asked that question respectfully, because there are times, like you just acknowledged, where we will say certain things, right? And then we will go back and say, you know what? Wow, damn, I did say that. But I'm not going to sit here and play semantics with an individual. If I'm living and existing in a space and someone says that space is dirty, you're calling me dirty because that's my space. No, like, I, think, I think differently. I think differently, bro. That's I that's understand the concept of having a junky-ass room but a clean-ass person. That can't, that can't exist. I, I, and I would say I agree to disagree because at the end of the day, if I own that space, if I exist in that space and that space is dirty, I'm responsible for cleaning that space. I'm not saying that spaces can't be junky and our Hold idea up. of what's junky and what's not can definitely be flip floppy. But the bottom line is I'm not going to play semantics in that regard. So I will say to that point, I agree to disagree, brother. I'm going to I'm going to say this. Hold on real quick. Real quick, Trina. Trina, give me one second. Real quick. Is there any woman in the box who, I guess, agrees more with Trina's sentiments? They don't than... have... No, 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 no. Just, just let me announce this because one of my people's Texas because she, she wants it to be fair because she feels right. like it's not. Fair. And I'll step down for this. Is, but is there I'm a female. Who, who, I, guys, let me please in the comment section. I got this. I got this. Is there anybody to make it fair who feels her sentiments and feel like she's feel, she's being treated a type of way who wants to come up and speak 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 with her? Is, is it fair to say a woman specifically? To be honest, anybody, I, would, anybody. I would find if the woman doesn't agree, it, it would just make me feel way more comfortable as if there were other women up here. It doesn't. Well, have I, to agree. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Just All using right, hold, hold on, hold on, Cuba, Before you go, before you go, before you go, I'm gonna go ahead and drop so a woman can come up. I want to right, the bats though, because the thing about this is a lot of people, because we're on Platt's platform, right? And because Jonathan has such a large platform, a lot of people have only tuned into this live and what John has posted. 
if you've caught any of my other lives and you watch the videos on my page, I've taken accountability for what I feel I did wrong this entire time. I looked up the definition of expounding because expounding means to explain. It doesn't mean to retract. When I said, hey, help me, I did say that made him more attractive to me. Later, when I expounded on what I really felt as far as why I was attracted to him because of him sending me money, that was just me expounding on that. That is not me backtracking and saying, oh, no, that wasn't why. That is me saying John sent me 2K unwarranted. And that made me more attracted to him because of the selfless act that I thought he was doing. Not <clears throat> And I have explained that verbatim. I have also explained that because of the mental state that I was in, I probably should not have gone to see him. I was trying right. to get to know him. I sh there was a lot of things I shouldn't have done. When he was expressing to me about his financial hardships, perhaps I shouldn't have taken his money. But again, I was in a financial hardship as well. And if you are the type of person who gifted money and, and sent it back because you feel like it's not the proper situation that you're a bigger person than me i will give you that that's fine i am not if a person gives me money and i'm going through financial hardships i'm gonna take it. and like i i also said that i said in the text i did text him back and reply i think i said something along the lines of whoa i'm gonna send it back or something i said that was wrong as well because i wasn't gonna send it back so i should have never even tried <coughs> to that was a lie that was bullshit and i can stand on that <clears throat> all right the, the room being messy. I said that and I still stand on that. I, and what I didn't get to say was he absolutely straightened his room up before I took even so much as an article of clothing off. He absolutely did. I'm not going to yeah, you did. It was, <coughs> and sit uh, as far as your bed. It was caving in. There was stuff all over old food stuff like there was no it, it couldn't have even happened unless you straightened up. As far as like the the my my smell and my hygiene, I I'm not doing that because if it was so funky, still slept with me. I feel like that says more about you than me. I'm just keeping it real. But my point of expounding upon why the two grand made me more attractive was to again let it be known that it wasn't necessarily the money. He could have sent me two hundred dollars. It was the manner in which it was so instantaneous, and it felt at the time selfless. And that is what made me be like, oh, this guy, you know, he could be possibly really who he says he is. To address him saying, you know, that I said in the text, we started off as friends. I never said that me and John, and I want to see the actual receipt because I want to see what I said. And that's why I wanted to wait till I had my laptop. But I never said that we started off in a relationship and we were boyfriend and girlfriend. What I said was this theory that we were only in contact to be strictly platonic that there was never any ideation or thought process that we would be more than friends until he sent me money that is false I'm not just straight out the door we were together what I'm saying is John knew that I had an interest in him as far as being connected to him the moment we were in contact that is the only reason why he messaged me that is what I left on his live, how he was attractive, and I would not mind getting to know him in real life. Again, I will say, which I've been saying, not just today, but this entire time, a man that outside of business, because keep in mind, I am a full service sex worker, right? So outside of business, in a romantic way, no business strings attached. It has been a while, I, I think, never happened honestly um that a man has done so much so quickly and in my head at the time not wanting anything in return that's where i was from with that when I, hold on hold on wait because i want to explain i've been, I've been having a statement i yeah. want to apology too because that's that keeps getting brought up what what that wait you want an apology from john no 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 when i hit john up and I told him that I wanted to ask him something and I wanted to apologize. I see a lot of people saying that in the comments. They trying to basically say I knew I was wrong. And like I said but before... Keep talking. Oh my like, God. Wow, can somebody else go? Getting of this can I go? Can no, I go? But, but, Trina, I just that, think an apology right is necessary. Baby, because... What you say? No, I said I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you are over-talking just a little bit because I'm trying to get Cuban to, to, to speak and I'm trying to get John to respond. 
and I'm trying to get Miss Sweets to speak as well, Mr. Bass to reply. Oh. Yeah, so I want I want John to respond because this live is about you and him. So I'm gonna get my so, first, and Cuba's gonna say her take. Can she go ahead and mute? Because I want to just say this: um, everything that she just said was a lie. If she thought that I was being selfless, then that means she knew that I didn't have the money. But inside of the text, she legit says. I have the receipts. She can't show no receipts. I let her know that I went broke helping her. That was the selfless act. I showed her with the receipts of me going broke helping her. And she says, I'm done talking to you. You showed me who you are. You're not broke. Cut it out. You didn't have to ask me for anything. I gave it to you because you were struggling. So that's why right off the rip, I just gave it to her because she was my friend and she was struggling. And then she said, you don't care. You're one of those people that do things just to say, hey, look what I did. And at that point, I said, fuck this bitch. I said, yo, got to go. But bro, is this, is this, is this happening after the initial attraction? Because if she's saying that she was initially attracted by the selfless acts, and then later y'all get into it, and then she feel later on that you shicey, but she didn't think you were shicey before, that's what, would, that's what could make a person say that. You know, if the timeline goes, that happens later. Then she still has a point to say initially she was attracted by the selfless act. And then she turned around and felt like you did something shicey because she was bringing up earlier about how she felt like you was throwing in her face <coughs> money. I'm not saying that that's true or not. I'm just saying if we follow that train of thought, if she felt like later on after she was initially attracted by selfless acts that you're throwing money in her face, that would make a person say, well, and then, you know, I'd make a person say, well, I don't know if you for real, for real now. And I that, got you. you know, that has merit. That's. The reason I threw money in her face, which I didn't, I sent it to her all over text, was because she let me know she wanted to escort from my house. And I said, if you want to do some shit like that, if you want to do some shit like that, here goes the fucking money. Listen, Thanks. if you're talking to me about escorting, right, she might have minted in a way that, oh, I'm going to escort leaving here. But with, in my eyes, she let you know she doesn't have no money for a hotel. She doesn't no money to go nowhere. She has no money for Ubers. So that means who would have to finance the way that she can get to these individuals to do the shit. Can I Me. answer that? She can wants I to, answer that? She wants to, so I would love to speak, keep talking. Like, I would love to finish. I mean, so, I just wanted to in this situation, question, In this situation, I'm sitting here and I'm like, fuck it. If that's what you want to do, and this is what receipts say, if that's what you want to do, all she wanted from me was money because she didn't want a relationship. She didn't even want to be friends. And that's when I knew she didn't want to be friends because she didn't lift a finger to um to help me find my fucking weed. And that shit destroyed me. And what I really don't get, and this is what I really don't get, if you go to her page right now, she's talking about how she doesn't have money. Why does she have so much fucking time to be here for hours other than trying to get food to eat? That's the most ridiculous shit to me. That is the most ridiculous shit to me. And that's why she's here. It's because of clout. It's because she's trying to use my name for a situation. It's because she's trying to sell the fucking video that we made together. She wanted me to help her promote the shit. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Go ahead, go ahead, Cuban. All right, everybody mute. It's Cuban's turn. Go ahead. Mr. Bass, let me drop you for another woman, okay, bro? I, I just want to say this. And for those who don't know, read my book. But I am a former sex worker. And what I'm going to say here is it sounds like fucking cat. As a sex worker, we know who to pray on, when to pray on them, what to do, how to get it, how to play the sympathy card, and how to do all that. And just listen, and I don't know Jonathan from a can of paint. I ain't never interacted with Jonathan. I ain't never interacted with Trina. I ain't never interacted with Slim. So I'm just saying this based on listening to everything that it sounds like straight cat. Like you knew he was a Vic when you met him. And I, no disrespect, Jonathan. You, he was a Vic when you met him and you knew that. And you played it till you couldn't play it no more. That's what it sounds like. I was can I ask you a question? Impressed. Hold on. You gonna, ask, you gonna ask me a question? Sure. Yeah. Now, um, because you know what? I'm not going to refute. Like I, I, I even said earlier in this live, I'm, I'm a sex worker for the better part of a decade. So uh, do I know how to drain a man? Better believe it. But here's the thing. Like I said earlier, John, portray especially a year ago, around like, who was that? Wait, 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 Trina. Trina, you just said out loud that you know how to trick a man. I so said that. 
beginning of this live, Pat. You remember me saying that? No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm reiterating. No, I remember you saying it beginning of live, and you just repeated it again. Right. So it's, it's not, it's not far fetched for people to to assume Let's, that. John. I, I understand that, and, and oh, I also, yeah. as far as him being upset about me expressing interest and in wanting to escort while I was in LA with him. Although he knew full well that it wasn't going to be outside of his home. And that was the argument he tried to take up that day. And that's why I was so irritated by him because he wouldn't let me speak. He kept saying, well, you're not. He kept alluding. Full well, it wouldn't be outside of his home. Why the fuck you want to have sex in my house? He kept alluding to that I was going to escort out of his home. And I was trying to tell him that as a sex worker, I know how to get a man to book a room so that he can have an appointment with me and then I'll have that room for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah but I, I don't mean to do, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I need to finish my sentiment. Oh, hold on. I need yeah, to finish yeah, my yeah, sentiment. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, let her finish. Because you you also know, you also know if you are leading and as a sex worker, you know for a fact, Trina, that when a man is interested and he done flown you out and y'all trying to consummate and do whatever the fuck you're doing. That he ain't gonna want you to go out and do what you do and leave his bed I, I to go to another you, dude's bed. I let me finish. That. Let me finish, please. Let me finish. I know I've heard okay, you. My that. point is that doesn't make him wrong. Period. No, he's he not is trying to. Him. He's trying to listen. I'm just trying to talk, please, man. My thing is this: him setting aside the fact that he already knows that you are a sex worker says a lot about his character and his lack of judgment on a woman. Right. And he tried to, uh, be cool with you and establish whatever with you despite, but that does not mean they want it in their face. Right. That does uh, not mean that they, that they want all that. Right. But the bottom line is, you knew that he gave you his last from jump. And as a sex worker, we know, we can get more and we'll go to any lengths to get that more Trina. And you know that you and couldn't I have had that many feelings in 17 days. You know I what I mean? You. My thing is, is, and then coming back to the internet since when the only time a sex worker comes and brings that type of shit out into the public is to either extort, embarrass, humiliate, or get more money. Right. And you and I both know this. And I, there ain't nothing coming out of my mouth that is a lie. Now, you might be the exception to the rule. Cuba, but, you are not. Yeah. I'm not what I'm trying to get you to hear. Right. Because I'm not refuting anything you're saying. And as a sex worker, I'm sure, you know, you know how it goes. What I was trying to tell John, because what I am acknowledging, right, is him. The reason why he's upset, upset about the escorting thing right now is the, almost the exact thing. Hold on, Jonathan. Hold on. Be quiet. The reason that he was upset is pr pretty much the same thing he was saying then. And I acknowledged in my live yesterday and in a few of my videos that it makes sense to hear a person is a sex worker and be able to accept that, but then be a little bit upset about it and getting your feelings when you're confronted face to face with it. I acknowledge that from the jump in this live, I acknowledged it in the last live. I've been acknowledging that I've been acknowledging how Jonathan feels. That's my thing. I've been acknowledging it this entire Yeah, but you, you broke the code, Hold Trina. Cuban. Hold on, Cuban. Hold on. Cause I didn't break no code, honey. When I expressed to Jonathan that while I'm out here, right, I'm probably going to post an ad and see what happens. Jonathan immediately got upset because he thought, like he's saying here, that I was saying, and which I told him then, I don't believe that you really think that, but he was trying to say that he felt I was going to be having intercourse with people in his home. And okay, I but what has it got on, to do with you bringing it to the internet? Hold on, hold on, Cuban, because you wouldn't let me talk when you were talking. So, even that day, he started disrespecting I was out there with him. Even that day, while I was with him, I tried to explain to Jonathan, this is not something that is going to happen in your face, in front of you. It's not something that you would financially have to worry about. Yeah, you did try to mute me, and I don't know why. Um, but it's not something that you have to be confronted with. He wasn't trying to hear that. And like I said, I get that. 
it's one thing to know a person is a sex worker and, and have that information. It's another thing to be confronted with it in person. I never said he was wrong for getting his feelings about that. What I didn't My like. My question. I don't care because he has a right to feel how he feel. My question to you is why did it come to the Internet at all? OK, why? I, I'll There's got to be a better reason than this shit. I'll, I'll answer you simply and plainly. A few days ago, I'll say four or five days ago, I hit John up in one of his videos. I asked him to contact me. He reached out. He contacted me. I asked him for his consent again because I had his consent prior. But since things fell off and we did not end in a platonic or not platonic in a wait, platonic. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, um, so, let so, me pause you. Hold on, everybody mute because I just saw a text something about somebody disrespecting Momo. I was in the bathroom, so I didn't see it. Who disrespected Monique? My moderator. Mom oh, uh -huh. I sent the moderator that she muted me, and I don't know why because she did mute me. That's all she said. Talking. She didn't disrespect her, she just said, I don't know why you're trying to mute me. Yeah, um, disrespect my her. question is so, wait, so just wait, I already wait, heard the whole story. I already heard the story. Turn us. I heard the story, but uh, answer this question. So we're here right now because you wanted to get more money off this brother, and he said no, and now we're here. You asked me a question, and now you're not letting me answer it. You asked me why we, this we, can you do the short version? Sure, if you'll let me speak. Is it my turn? Okay. A few days ago. I commented on one of John's videos to get his consent for the video that we made almost a year ago. The reason I did that was because although I already had his consent when making it, because we did not end on cordial terms, I just wanted him to at least know, hey, this video is going to be put out. Are you okay with it? So I contacted John. A few of his fans saw that. They tried to get you know, some context. Someone even came to my page in a video that had nothing to do with John or that situation and left a comment on my page, which is what he's talking about. He thought that comment was pulled from his page, but it was a video or a comment left on my video. And I told that commenter, don't worry about it. It's not for the internet to know. I contacted John. We spoke. He said, I didn't really need to ask him for his permission. I had had his permission when you know, when we made it and it kind of sounded like, you know, he thought I was just trying to contact him to talk to him. And, and, you know, that was what I got. But he also went into how he was traumatized. And I tried to tell him, like, you wouldn't let me explain. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm sorry about how you feel. So after that, I was in Slim's live. Me and Slim were talking about something completely unrelated. Jonathan saw me in the live, came in the comments, asked Slim to let him up in the box. I ended up getting taken down from the box and they get to talking about this situation, right? I got upset about that. Next thing I know, somebody in my city, one of my homegirls was sending me a video of John with my name, my real name, and my whole text about my trauma on TikTok. And that's how it started. Was it John that posted it? The video? Yes. Of, of doxing you? Yes. I still don't understand why we're here. I don't understand why his okay. business. So... Uh, this is this is um, another lie that she just told. So she just said that the comment was on her page. She just said that she didn't grab it from my page. Yet, I want you guys to know I get almost every receipt because I know how to protect myself. This is the comment, right? What did you guys make a tape? She, this is a comment that what you what do you have to do to make a video like this? You have to grab that comment. And she grabbed oh, the comment oh, oh, and it. brought it to her page and then started talking about me on her page. And also, oh. this is another thing. You guys remember how she said that, because I got I got all your videos. I got okay. them right here. You remember how she said that she did not say that we were in a romantic relationship? She said that, oh, the reason I sent her money was because I paid her for pussy. She just said that I gave her the money because of that. Asia, but this is her right here. I mean, I'm really not still carrying out this narrative that I scammed you. Just tell these people you paid me to sleep with me and move on. Like That part right I there. I you, but you Apple paid me? me Can you tell me how that works? OnlyFans video, like that what? 315 and 200 that you sent me to make an OnlyFans video with me? Now, I was being respectful and asking for your permission to post it because I really didn't have to do that. Right? But you playing crazy. And like I said, for you to try to soft dox, not just me and my trauma, but my minor child, I hope you don't think I'm going away no time soon. Tell these people the truth. Not only did you send me two brands to try to get in good with me, 
But months later, you flew me out, paid for my lift to the airport and everything else, and paid for the box. So she was so the person the, bringing so, it to so, social so, media. So, she was the person talking about So the end of the day, the end of the day, Turner, the end of the day, he was just a trick to you. No, because I would have got you way. You just said it. You just said it in that on, video. Uh, hold on, in the video, Cuban, babe. Cuban, you just said that in the video. Cuban, say your last points, and I gotta swap you. And then I need—I uh, didn't hear Miss Sweets. Well, I made my—I made my point. He, she's treating him like he was a trick to her, and now she's exploiting it. That's what it is. Gotcha. Thanks, Cuban. All right, go ahead, Miss uh, Miss Sweets. Okay, so. Okay, so sweetheart, I want to know, like, you literally just said. That in the video that he just posted that this was just about the OnlyFans, but when I speak was saying what he was saying to you, you changed the story and said it was about his selfishness. So yeah. I really want to know what this is really about because it's it's coming off two different sides of the story for me. So I'm confused because I get in some cases like how guys want to spend money on you and that's cute, you know. Okay, spoil me, whoop de whoop. But at the same time, you can't just say that, A, this was for this, and then, oh, he sent me money because my tires was this. Oh, he sent me money because I was in a hard place. Now it was, it's because of OnlyFans. So I don't know what's what. So can you give me a better explanation about what that was really about? Because your story is not making sense to me. Yeah, and I think a lot of it, um, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm just being honest. I think a lot of it is like what Mr. Bass said, a lot of y'all just not listening, to be honest with you. Y'all not listening. And, and I'm not, and I'm kind of getting like the the um, energy. Like I told Cuban, Jonathan needs to go back to that video and click the comment. That was a comment left on my page. I did go to, I never refuted going to Jonathan's page. I never refuted that. I left a comment on this man's page. I said that. I said that. And when some of his people came to my page and left a video or left a comment on my video, I still, yet again, because if I was caught facing folks was asking me what was going on that was the perfect opportunity i would have done it then i would have went in on the story thanks and love because you're really sitting here trying to benefit off of this man's trauma like you're really sitting here trying to get more views and likes and playing of the story that does not make sense that's the number one thing of cloud chasing babe Are so you gonna i'm trying to figure out what's really going on but see that's that's also the problem y'all be making it seem like you want to hear what i have to say but then you start talking like, do you want to? Hear <laughs> because you talked for twenty years I'll about nothing. Everybody else, you yeah. talked over everybody else. I didn't seen you on this live since the first minute it started. You being disrespectful to everybody that was on this panel. So do not give me an attitude because I didn't interrupt you and hurt at your little ego. I'm gonna need you to deflate your little ass chest wait, wait. and listen. There's no attitude in my voice. Trust me. Trust me. What I'm saying is you asked me a direct question and then in the middle of me answering it, you cut me off. So do you want me to answer your question or do you want to get your shit off? That's what I'm asking you. Get the shit off. Shut up. Anyway, Wait. so this is what we're doing. Really? Look at this. <laughs> what? Look at this. So right after I sent her the $2,000, right? I let her know right off the rip. I said, I am like multiple times after she asked me, kept asking me for money. I said, Anyway, after she asked me to be in a relationship, anyway, go home, play some games. Okay, I'm going home. Pick up Lyft tomorrow. This is a buffer. The real world is dark and easy, uh, is evil. And this is all before I even knew she even had an OnlyFans. This is all before I even knew she was selling um, any type of thing. She brought that up because she wanted me to become a trick. Because she knew that I was vulnerable. She knew that I was depressed. She knew that I was lonely. And she thought I had the money to just send $2,000 off rip. Because right, off, right after that situation, she asked me for money again. She let me know about the OnlyFans. She let me know about everything she did. And then she um, asked me for some more money. And right here, this is when I let her know, hey, I do not have that type of money. I am broke. And then... After all of this situation, she still goes online to say that I am lying Wait, about being homeless, that I'm lying about struggling, which those are all old videos. But I let her know I didn't have enough. And then she let me know she had to go back to self-work. And I said, hey, yeah, I'm not rich, just overly helpful. Oh, because I'm just fucking stupid. 
I'm just overly helpful. I just want you to be okay because this was my friend. This was my friend. I didn't think you were rich. Maybe you got to go ahead. Huh? No, no, my bad, John. No, Slim kept asking to come out. I said Slim got to wait because I got to give people another ch a chance who hasn't been able to come up yet to speak. Right. Uh, go ahead, John. Finish up. I let her know I am not rich, just overly helpful. And every situation that she brought up, anytime she asked me for money, I didn't send it to her. But anytime she showed that she was in need, I was like, fuck. Because guess what? When you ask me and I don't have it, I'm not going to give it to you. But if I see that you need it more than I do, I'm going to give it to you because I am a genuine person. I try my fucking best. I, that's I like the best I can do. And if the best I can do is all the money that I had, I sent her fucking, like, that's what I'm saying. So if the best that I can do is literally everything that I have, I'm doing the best I can. And she still kept asking for more. She kept, kept putting situations out that she wanted more, more, more. And I'm like, damn, bro. Also, I want to put this out there, not being that we are the situation. I go live Monday through Friday from 9.30 a.m. to about um, 11 a.m. every single morning. So y'all can check out my live streams. I'll be telling story times just like this one because guess what? Me being a genuine person kept fucking me over because I didn't have proper boundaries, because I didn't have proper self-respect, because I was super depressed. I didn't do anything but stay inside of my room and make videos, and this was the person that I thought I could trust. This is the person that I thought was a friend of mine. So I helped. I helped as much as I could. So she knew off rip that I didn't have money. And yet she's saying that, oh, it was because of OnlyFans. Oh, it was because of this. If that's how you believe and that's how you feel it, that's how you feel it. But I want to say, this is the last thing I want to say about the situation. I, I, am, I am out. I got to go to the gym. I got to live my life. You guys can talk about it. You guys can go into it. She's probably going to bring it back up because why she needs money because she doesn't have it. She doesn't have it. She even made a video. She was can even I, making the video mad at him. Can I can I say something? Can I say something real quick? Miss Weeks, were you done? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you can go ahead. I can wait till you're done, baby. This read and this read can wait. Go ahead, baby. Put the book down. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um I wanted I, I wanted done. to I uh I wasn't done. I accidentally muted. So inside of I'm this sorry, video, Jonathan. right, you can see that she's legit mad. And that's why she was mad at me because I was actively struggling online and people were helping me out because of my behavior, because of my generosity, because of how genuinely I am. But this dude made a video and she's mad at this guy. So I'm sitting here wondering why, if you are literally struggling like this, no money, no money, you have a child, but the child is hungry. Why are you not working right now? Why are you not looking for a job? Why are you taking the time to be online to do this shit? Like, bro, go feed yourself, please. That's go get some food. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what? I'm sitting here like, whoa. Out of everything, but the, because you know, because you know how I was so helpful, you thought you could grab me again. And I'm, I straight up got those boundaries. I got those self-respect. I got that self-love. You need help, dog. You need help. And it's not from us. It's not from people online. You need professional help. Like, seriously, I needed professional help. Let I me told you I had to go to therapy because of your bit. Like, I had to go to therapy because of your ass. Let me say I this. Have to go to therapy. Said in that video, I have a child that's going to be hungry the second she walks through the door. I never said that my kid was going hungry. And you said I, you had to steal for it. And I so you go, you go, you still out here stealing? By hook or you can crook, get a job. She gonna eat by hook or by crook. That one she's gonna eat. And there's not a person in this world. That and this is the crook. About it. This is the as crook. As she's trying to come online and crook or or hacking people's accounts and stealing from them because what you can't say. Uh, I mean, aside from that imaginary three five, but what you can't say is that I took a dollar from you. You stole my fucking weed. That's what you can't say. You can't say that I took a oh, red money. That's what you cannot say, right? So you or no one else on this panel, all thousand, how many people are in here, are never, ever going to make me feel any type of way for escorting, stealing, <laughs> watching dogs, whatever I had to do to feed my child. Let's make that perfectly clear. And I'm also not ashamed of the struggle that I have to go through or that I am going through right now. 
I'm not ashamed of it at all. I don't know not one person in this line, probably Voodoo Bay, uh, uh, but and Pat maybe. I Karen, but the rest of y'all, sweetheart, y'all probably eating noodles and on your last slice of bread, just like me. Like, cut the cap, cut the cap. And Jonathan, you don't, no. don't cool. got this. I don't know what you're talking about. She don't got this and she don't got that. And, and I, it sounds like you're trying to make fun of me for being broke, right? But you I'm saying of, you need to get a job. Internet persona was based on you struggling financially. So it's just a little bit ironic. To, it was to, based off of me traveling. You didn't even so watch the shit. You being poor and broke and stranded and hungry and lonely, just like you're trying to tell these people. You excuse me, but then you just oh, him him out of all that money saying the same stuff though that you was broke, that you was hungry, that you was in need, that your child needed something. You you just use that same line on this man to drain this man for everything you got. You can't sit here and say nothing that can justify your damn actions. See, that's where you're the moment because that's you knew my situation. Confused. And the that's moment I saw you was in need, you. I helped right, because I knew how it was to not have anybody help me. I knew how it was to no, not have anybody don't. around. No, I knew don't. how it was not to have anybody I, there. No, stop lying. No. Dead you, I was not the only friend in your life at that time. Quit trying to make these people think that. No, that's not true. You have a plethora of friends. You have many people that have your back. I was not the only person that you had in your corner. No, not true at all. Like I how you said, tell me how I feel. Like guys, no, I can't tell you how you feel. I can tell you who you had around that I saw That's not with who my I had own around. eyes. With I my own eyes. So I don't know if those were imaginary. So you people. don't even know what the fuck was going on with me. I don't know if the person you lived with, your friend that told you the person I lived with, my roommate. Your friend that had my to roommate. check you that your friend that had to check you about being controlling while I was there. You have friends. That is my point. I was not the only person in your life. That is my point. To Miss Sweets, sweetheart, respectfully, respectfully, because I, I, I'm, I really love black women, so I'm trying to keep it cool, right? But respectfully, dear, I didn't use that man. He, If I was going to use someone, I would have found a viable trick. Now, after I was pissed off that this man tried to leave me stranded over 2,000 miles away from my home, did I say that he was a trick because of all the money he had thrown at me? Absolutely. And like I said, when he pissed me off, I was saying all kind of stuff. A and I already took that. So I'm not going to keep addressing it. What I didn't You do, keep addressing the same shit over and over I again. So you might as well keep addressing stuff we're bringing up. Was you. Dude, what I didn't like, do hey. was scam him. And even he is saying he wasn't scammed in a money way. He feels scammed about a 3-5. So all y'all with this whole, you did this and you did that. He has even said on this live, it's not about the money. He sent the money on his own. It is the he fact saying that. that you were so not can quit with that a genuine Stop friend. With the and I thought narrative. you were and a you genuine friend. The 2000 you scammed me by acting like my friend. The and you were not. Do y'all mind if I can speak real quick? Go ahead, Erin, because you've been waiting the whole time. I'll shut up so you can speak. So let me, let me start this off with... Um, I have been, I am homeless. I have been broke. I have slept with men, like you said, to get a room or Airbnb for the night and, and, a, and a dinner. I have done that in my early 20s. I have stole out of stores to feed my nieces and nephews because the adults wouldn't. I have done that. So I know where you're coming from. And that's why I'm up here. Because one thing I've also done is I've also been a manipulator. And I and I think I think you were on the live when I talked about it, Jonathan, where I was or I was talking about how I was a manipulator and I lost a lot of friends. And I had to um I had to to change myself. So Trina, I'm saying this as woman to woman as respectfully as I can. You, I'm re I'm listening to everything that you're saying, and it's everything that I have said before. It's everything that I Come on now. This, I've been, respectfully, I've, you can't project what you've done onto me. That's not fair. Um, I haven't finished. I, I really haven't finished. I haven't okay. finished. But the way you're starting it sounds so like you're it doesn't. I don't care how done. I started, how anything, but I haven't finished. I haven't finished. So no, I any, anyway, I'm not projecting because manipulation is manipulation. It's textbook. You saw this man who was down and out emotionally who no, was... in every sense. Financially, emotionally, um, like Okay, regardless or irregardless, he was more financially at the you that he sent you to two thousand dollars. Okay, that you accepted knowing his situation. 
That's yeah. manipulation. No, that's not. manipulation. No. Yes, it is. It's okay. No, if, you if you let me finish, if you let me finish, I can tell you. If you let me finish, Trina, you've been talking over everybody. And I will say what I want to say because I waited patiently while you talked over Cuban this week. Jonathan, everybody. It's manipulation because of this. It's manipulation because we know how to speak to people. We know, and I'm not even going to say we because I'm not even in that mindset anymore. And I haven't been for years. But people who manipulate know how to find people who are easy to convince of things. Whether it's buying them food, whether it's giving them money, whether it's giving them a place to sleep. Do you know how I survived? Because I would find people and I would get people to let me move in with them for free. Okay? And I would do all, I would say all the stuff that you're saying. Oh, no. It wasn't that. I, I'm my situation and, and I don't care. Nobody's going to tell me. And, and I had to do what I had to do. That's manipulation. And all you have to do, I don't really care about you tricking or escorting or doing whatever you got to do, whatever you got to do to feed your child. Okay. But admit it. Stand 10 toes down. That's what I can't stand. You are a manipulator. You're showing narcissist behavior. You're showing manipulation. Okay. And you won't even stand 10 toes down. You may be able to fool everybody else. You smoked his weed that you did not have permission to smoke. All of it. And he's mad about it. Just say, just say, you know what? I did it. And, and I did it because I felt you were easy to cut, to pull one over on. But now I want to use this story to get clout. Why? So you maybe you can uh, promote your OnlyFans or whatever else you have to do. Just say it. Just say it. We can respect somebody who stands ten toes down more than we can respect somebody who sits here and lies. You are actively are you lying to this man, and you are manipulating him. You are you are a gaslighter. You are a gaslighter, a manipulator, and you're narcissistic. And I need you to know that. What lie did I tell? First of all, you are not a, you're not my therapist. I don't even know you, so I don't care. I don't care, girl. There's there's there's, there's no therapist that can help you until you until you want to be helped. What lie did I tell him to manipulate him into giving me money? What lie? Did that I whole tell wanting him? to be in a relationship that he that you asked him. I already know what that's about. I already know what that's about. You didn't want this man. No, 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 you wanted no, no, no. you wanted somebody to actively take that care of you. That's what you wanted. What lie? That was after though. You said that's the I lied lie. to him. The lie wait, was that you just said wait, spoke wait, 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 wait. Well spoke. You just said she I'm just the person said. You so I'm tell you she the lie. just said. He, I'm gonna let him tell the lie. lie. Do you agree with me, Jonathan? Jonathan, do you agree with me? Guys, guys, y'all, y'all doing way too much over talking. Let 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 Trina finish she the point. Just right, said, she just said that I manipulated him and lied to him to get him to send me two thousand dollars. What lie did I tell to manipulate him into doing that? Keep in she mind the ma wait a minute, because yes, she did. She just did. Keep in mind. That man asked me to vent. It's not like I hit him up like, hey, John, I'm going here, there. I'm going through this, 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 and this because I thought that he was empathetic and he was a vic. That's part he of the lie. Me, excuse me. He asked me to That's vent. That's part of the lie. And then what's part of the lie? That he asked me to vent? That's the, 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 whole, the whole venting, the whole venting situation because he that's playing on emotional he manipulation. That's, that's a manipulation 101. But no. That's manipulation 101. Dead ass. How is it manipulative for a person? And no, I'm not stupid. Don't disrespect me because I didn't call you out your name. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. How is it manipulative? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said shut up, but, but she's frustrated. Listen, listen. If I mute, that means you don't unmute until I unmute you or, or I ask you to unmute yourself. Please. The insults and all that bullshit, I'm getting tired of it because I got work in, in, in 30 minutes and, and y'all blowing my shit right now. So please. Enough with the disrespect bullshit. Let's be grown ass adults. Trina, you've been over talking okay. people like crazy. Let Ari the plug finish, please. No, I was trying to ask her what. Where is the manipulation? Because John asked me to vent, then I vented. She's saying that's manipulative, and I'm trying to ask. And you how won't even let me answer. Okay, you're gonna ask me a question and then over talk me, so I can't finish. So I can't even tell you what 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 the manipulation was, because manipulation is. You he knew your situation because you were trying to wear him down emotionally with your situation. So yeah, oh vent to me. He's being a good person. Vent to me. Well, I'm going through this and I'm going through this and I'm going through this and I'm going through this. And you're hoping that with already with and I'm I'm not trying to call you weak, Jonathan. I'm just saying when you're depressed, your mindset and your emotional uh teaspoon is very weak. 
I was very. She weak. prayed. She prayed on that, and she hoped that it would go in her favor, and it did. You sent her money. You know, she came to your home. You, you got. She got flewed out. All this stuff. That's that's. If if that's what you wanted to do, because that's what you do, then stand on it. I came up here to say stand on your stuff and stand ten toes down and admit it. Don't come up here and try to act like, oh no, I cared about him because he had a big heart to give me two two thousand dollars. No, you prayed on him because you knew that he would give you that if you seemed pitiful enough. One thing pitiful people like is other pitiful people around them, and they they love to feel like they're helping people. I was I've been on both sides of the coin, and you will never admit it because you're a manipulator. Because you have narcissistic tactics. So she keeps jumping on the scam situation and what she means by scam. The way she scammed me was that she said that she was my friend. And when I was legit in the room, obviously in distress, looking for the weed, she looked at me with a straight face and said, no, I will not help you. At that point, I realized she was not my friend. And this person that I've been trying to help this person that I've been trying to build with, this person that I thought was my friend, wasn't. She didn't care about me. She didn't give a fuck. And at that moment, I had got her an Uber to go downstairs. And all of this is based off of her not generally liking me or generally wanting to be with me. She lied. Go ahead, T Time. Hey y'all. Um, I don't, I don't have a side here. I'm just going off of what I'm hearing. I've been listening for like an hour and a half, probably a little bit longer than that. Um, I took notes, um, and I only can go off of what was said in the live, not my assumptions from the beginning, John, before you had got here, she made it clear that she was attracted to you prior to her even knowing your financial status, which she thought that you were a man that was um, homeless, that you had um, financial situations, that um, those things made her attracted to you because you seem as if you were vulnerable. And that made her attracted to you from your vulnerability. When you guys became friends, she said that she looked, she said she did not look at you as a friend. She looked at you as somebody that she could get involved with in the near future. She also stated that when she did vent to you because you guys had, had, um, began to talk that you, when you sent her the money, she was not even, um, she didn't ask you for the money. You sent her the money, you know, out of the kindness of your heart, which I think is admirable. You know, I think it's admirable for you to do something like that. And I'm sorry if you were taken advantage of in that, in that case. But I think that when you sent her that money, it was unexpected, you know, and I'm not saying she was using you or anything like that, but a lot of times when we're kind like that, what we have to understand is when we go out on the limb and we give our kindness to people, um, Nobody sees who we are anymore. You know, it's what, okay, what can we, what can, what can, what can you do for me? That's one thing. And I'm not saying that's her that's doing it. So we have to be careful with who we automatically um, hey, give our money to. You me real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm so sorry. Now, she also said that it was not brought to the internet by her. It was brought to the internet by you. Now, Listening to both of you guys, I I can agree that from from her talking about the OnlyFans thing, she's not she didn't bring the she said she's not saying she didn't bring the OnlyFans thing to the internet. She's saying she didn't bring this to the internet. This this in particular, the issue between you and her, the flying out, the how she didn't say she didn't come at you on the internet. So she did. She brought it to the internet on Facebook. Okay, she bought the specific thing about flying out to your house. I did say something on his Facebook Live, but that was literally within the week of us falling out. So this was December 2021. This was not... Okay, so I'm talking about, John, the, t the TikTok issue. So the, it started, this is a year later, on TikTok, right? She said that that was brought by you. She said the only reason why she came out and addressed it is because you put a, a post up about her daughter I mean with her daughter's with her daughter's trauma and her trauma and that made her want to come and clear her name and tell the truth not not necessarily to get clout and I do believe that 
because I've watched, I went to her page, I've watched her videos, um, and all she said in the in the whole thing is he brought he put up a screenshot with my name, my trauma, and I want to clear my name. So I want to I want to hold on, John, John, hold on. I want to say something real quick. I'm not adding nobody else in the box. This is it. And we got to get to a resolve really soon because this should have been dragging for like two motherfucking hours, probably longer. So there's got to be some resolve going uh, that has to happen. So after John speaks, Mel, say your opinion. Mr. Jones, say your opinion. And then we got to close this shit and figure out if y'all two can just dead this shit because this is getting crazy. Ahead, nobody's John. listening. Everybody's just giving opinions. Basically. Trina. I'm listening. Oh, I get you. But I'm, I'm listening to you. Like, I'm listening. Was- okay. Trina, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm perfectly fine with that. All right. Go ahead, Mel. All right. Um, one thing I want everybody to recognize is that I'm not, or what you say in some time. And for a majority of this live I kinda I was kinda in the same vein with you. Um, but one thing that I, especially because that's what I'm in school for. I'm in school to become a psychiatrist. So my job is to learn to listen and by through listening to you over time, being able to get to a place where I can find where you are what you're really saying and what you're not saying. Because a lot of times when we speak, there are a lot of times we don't want to put everything out there <coughs> because we recognize that some things can be seen wrong. Some things can be seen differently. Some people can So your job, my main job is to basically be able to see what you're not saying. So in the beginning, hundred percent, I can see, I heard what she said about not knowing. I heard what she said about, you know, not seeing where he was or, um, and not no, thinking that he was broke. But we also have to listen to what Jonathan said. A lot of those videos were old. And it's not much, it's not hard to look at those videos and see the date on that and see the projection and the growth that that influencer made and what that influencer may have been, what it may have received. Another thing that also came into play, um, um, saying two different things, but then trying to say I'm expounding upon it. Expounding upon something means that you are still connecting what you're saying to the original statement. But if the original statement is, I I did get more, that ass, I did get more attracted to him when he sent me money and saying, I am attracted, I, I, I was actually more attracted to the fact that he gave it to me at such a quick amount of time are two different statements. That is not an expounding because that means that it would be, I'm attracted to both of those things. So we have to keep in mind that at, as things kept shifting, different things are being stated when they're all, like, for instance, there are three different forms of manipulation. You can manipulate by being truthful. You can use what you got. Most writers in this ro- world write off of what they know. And that doesn't necessarily mean that she wouldn't have wanted a relationship with him. I could want a relationship with you and be willing to and want to manipulate you to get something out of you. I can want to be manipulative to make you um, to, to gain something, and no one manipulates above where they're standing. You but have to be see, at a particular standing point to basically we, be able to manipulate it. I can't. I, if I'm at a place where I can only access people who got a couple thousand dollars, that's where my that's where my C is. I can't manipulate a millionaire. You have to get to a particular location. You have to look aesthetically a certain way. Everything has to be in a particular growing point. So she was going in the areas where she could, and that was what ended up happening with John. Now, I the only issue I'm having is the fact that, yes, you can state that you might have won a relationship with him, but you also have to understand how he's seeing things, how he feels. Both of y'all can state in your validation with you being upset and being mad and say, yes, that's why I said it, and you validate that point. But to devalidate what he felt and how you made him feel and what you did to him is what's continuously happening she because didn't, it doesn't change didn't, from though. that point. You guys, that's what I'm saying by you guys are not listening. She's taking accountability. I feel like this whole thing is for her to basically tell her side of the story. She hasn't she hasn't refuted any of his text messages. She has stood let, wait, wait, she stood on everything she's done. Um, and I'm not saying she's right. I'm not saying she's wrong, but she has stood and she has since she said she was wrong. She said that. She's also said she's apologized. And I'm not, I'm just saying, I think that what she's doing is. No, she I, said I, that she was wrong under certain circumstances, but she also tried to state that certain things that Jonathan was saying wasn't re- true. Like when he said, Jonathan stated that he had two, three fifths. She said, uh-uh, you only have one. 
that's the, he knows what he bought. <laughs> um, um, you, th- th- saying I heard, that. Oh, I heard her she, say she was wrong. I heard her say. Uh, I heard her say she should have sent the money back, but she didn't. <laughs> she said she said she said. I'm not saying that she's she feels bad about, it, but she's made those statements, but she hasn't said them in the way that everybody wants to hear it. And part of accountability is also looking at facts of the situation. For instance, if I know we know how TikTok is, I'm sorry to some extent we have to be cognizant of understanding what certain things do. If I know that a particular person is famous. Like, just to use you as an a, a example, I speak. I speak has a certain level of following. If I go in his chat and say, yo, X, Y, Z about a video, you know there's blowback. We have to expect that those things are I going to blow up. And, and now the situation is growing to a point where it's astronomical, but yet everyone wants to make it seem like, oh, well, that was, she wasn't, not everyone, but that's not a manipulative tactic. That was what it was. It was made between y'all consent wise. She, he said it wasn't a need for consent. This entire situation does stem from that one question. So sis, again, like I said, if it was about clout and I was just doing this to get the story out, when Jonathan's people came on my page, on my profile and asked me to talk about it, I would have talked about it then. Because it make no mistake, my feelings have not changed. And again, I never refuted Jonathan's feelings. I never said he was wrong. I've tried my best, even before this came to the internet, when I was in, on the phone with him, to acknowledge how he feels. Oh, Mama Holly is in here. Go, Mama Holly. You don't want to hear this. Um, I tried my best to acknowledge how he feels because he is a human being. And I can't tell him how he felt. I've tried to acknowledge that. I've tried to apologize for the escort thing, which up until today, I, I never apologized about the three five because I addressed that with him. But I always acknowledged that, you know what, it is different to know that a person is a sex worker and then be faced with that. It, that's totally different. And especially when it's not just your friend, right? It's somebody that you're trying to get to know on a romantic level. I've acknowledged all of that. And when I expounded on why the 2K made me feel some type of... Where did she just go? I don't know. Uh, Denisha Carter had actually come up. So well, I, I just want to add, I, when I expounded, and you know what? Uh, I, I, I can see, I will say, I can see how for y'all it sounds like I said he sent me 2000 and that made me attracted to him. And then I turned around and said it was the act. So I can, I hear that and I can see where y'all coming from with that. And I can, I can admit that perhaps I worded it wrong, but what I'm saying is it was not necessarily, oh, the, it wasn't necessarily the money because again, my mm-hmm. initial contact with this man was, Hey, you are attracted. Hi. I think that you're an attractive person physically, aesthetically. You are pleasing to my eyes. That was our initial contact our initial contact was let's get to know each other is there any way is there any way that you guys together like okay this is out right you sold your side i asked him to take the videos down no is there any way like that you guys can come i tried i I asked him to take the video john is there anything that you feel that that hasn't been done or that Mm -hmm. i'm you know i'm just saying because i feel like both of y'all have said said you know Mel, let me let me. No, I'm perfectly fine. I feel like I love that. I feel like I'm good with the situation. I want her to leave me alone, like block me, never say anything. I also want her to never put out the video. I want her to let it be known to a thousand people. Never release it. Never drop it. Never do anything with it. Anything that has to do with me. I want to leave me. I could. I did. So. Are you okay. willing to well, now you can delete with it. her name with her name and the trauma? Are you willing to delete that one? Yeah, I'm willing to delete it. Because that's and what she she's said willing to delete it. the video. Trina, if he deletes the, the video with your name and your daughter, because I would trauma, just say revenge porn. Because that's what you said that that's yeah, more so what the issue is. If he's willing to delete that, would you with with your daughter's name and everything in it? My Are baby's name it? wasn't in it. My name was. I in mean, it. with your daughter's. Trauma. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. But that's the thing, right? Uh, when it comes to soft doxing, nobody's going to know that all of this stuff happened Except to a tailor. My homegirl sent me your video. So someone let me see the receipt. Let me see the receipt. Let me see the receipt. I will post everything that I've said that I have. No, received. don't post guys, anything. Guys, else. guys, don't guys, anything guys. I, I hate being talked over my own shit. It's annoying. Guys. Sorry, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just getting annoyed now. Y'all both need to delete 
everything about each other, including you, Trina. Delete the fucking mix, uh, sex tape, mix tape, whatever the fuck it is. Delete it. Just delete it. Block each other. Move on. That's it. Yeah, I think I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, sorry I'm coming off like a bitch, but I'm hangry and I, I don't want to be late for work. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm y'all need to Ella. delete everything. Especially you, Trina. Delete that goddamn sex tape. No, but delete don't it. do that, though, Pat. Don't especially me. Because, again... No, no, no because you have a sex tape. This is a whole sex tape. It's a sex tape. It's sex tape. My seven-year-old daughter's sexual assault is on your page for seven million okay. people to read. Okay, so he's going to delete that. Are you serious? Since we're playing semantics... Since we're playing semantics, especially you too, John. Delete the shit. If a child is involved, delete it now. Just delete it. There. I think that. I think that's what we just need need to get to that everything is going to be deleted you got you are not going to have any further contact you're not going to utilize the sex tape or any well, however you want the only fans uh tape and if you can agree to that and he can agree to take down the videos i think take we need to move now. on thank you jonathan okay. are you trina going to agree that you're not going to utilize the video that he is no longer giving you consent to utilize <laughs> Once I see the videos gone from his page, absolutely. Okay, the great. If you're verbally I agreeing want... to that. I can record. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, I want to let this be known. The videos that I am taking down is the video that has something to do with her daughter. Me talking about my trauma has nothing to do with her. No. That's, no. That's, all, not... that's all she said. She said no, that it that all, was an issue no. with At why she point, brought If this it up. has something to do with me, it needs to be deleted. Just like on my page, if it has something to do with him, it needs just to delete be deleted. It, John. The just whole Jonathan, just delete it. Just yeah, just delete it, bro. Just can I have it. just two seconds Jonathan, real quick, Pat? Can, can I, go, can go, I all right, everyone, 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 please. Go ahead, go ahead, real quick. Go ahead, Mr. Jones. And private, and if you gotta just private them, private them. You know, like that's how you won't lose your views and, and whatever. No, he's on live, bitch. Go ahead, Mr. Jones. Talking serious. Okay. So, yeah, sorry. So, hey, guys, how are you doing? Um, I, I don't have anything to do with this conversation, and I'm not going to interject myself. Anybody knows anything about me, I don't get involved in shit that don't have nothing to do with me. What I can say, though, is listening to this for the past nearly two hours at this point, the, these these things that we're addressing, like needing help, you know what I'm saying, and, and ha having to, you know, use your body in order to acquire a place to stay and things of that nature. I heard several guests talk about this. These are the reasons why I continuously come on this app and advocate for community. This is why I'm constantly talking about making sure that you have a network. Jonathan, I have a lot of respect for you. The way you handled this, I, I, I you know what I'm saying? A lot of respect. She only here's has the thing, one right? phone, guys. She Yo, can, somebody, can you please right? mute while I'm talking? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to let him say it. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're, when you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, like, Th things that are bothering you in, in your mental health, when you're dealing with things that are bothering you financially or hurting you financially, when you're dealing with these things, it is, in, it, it is imperative that we have people that we can turn left and right and look at them and say, you know what, I'm struggling right now and I need your help. And you know that, you know what I'm saying, not just one person, but a community of people are there to support you in those times. And this is also why, you know what I'm saying, I like how, you know what I'm saying, we just decided that this we're just going to squash it Everybody going to delete it and block each other. But you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how we should be handling things from the beginning. Instead of blowing it up, putting people's personal business, airing it out on TikTok, airing it out on live, especially when we got company watching this shit. We got people that we consider undesirables looking at this and like, look at these fools. Look at these clowns. Look at these black folks. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm going to say it one last time. This is why we need to build community. This is why we need to have tons of people around us you know what I'm saying? That are going to support us so that we don't even get to this point in the first place. That's all I got to say. I love all of y'all. Stay dangerous. I'm out. All right. All right. I wasn't I just supposed before... to let nobody else up. So, Denisha, after this, I got I got to go, guys. Get, get, get so it. Before... I don't care. Finish your words right here. Yes. Before I go, I just want to say, <coughs> I, I, we all know what happened here. So, there's not much to repeat. But I want to say, this is a lesson for any, any person who goes to a man who is looking and is available and who is saying that he is looking for a certain type of relationship and he get used from that and that does create trauma we have to be open we have to be realistic with ourselves uh trina you said in the live with me that you had hoped he was going to have a babysitter for your daughter when you had came down 
this is something we all have. This is why we say communication is very important. At the end of the day, Jonathan has a right to feel used. And quite honestly, I feel as though he was used. Going forward, I don't want you two to have any more contact. I don't want you two to make a video. I don't want you to have a separate live and start, you know, once this live is over, start reiterating. The stuff needs to stop now. Jonathan, this is, you don't need any of this on your platform. You are about your music. You are about growing your brand. And all of this affects your brand and your mental. And I need you to just let it go and move on because you are and you have better and bigger things to work on than this. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Go ahead, Denisha. Super quick. So initially, I was going to say this just sounds like two people who both made dumbass decisions. Uh, John Moss, don't send people any more money. Uh, Trina, no comment. But um, then I heard the word sex tape. I don't know if I heard that correctly or incorrectly, but John Moss, you, heard it. you have a massive platform. You are way too famous for whatever type of fuckery was just happening for this last X hours. Way, 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 way too famous. I would get an attorney if I were you. Also, I know that everybody's take in general is like, don't bring stuff to the internet, don't bring stuff to the internet. I feel like you are perfectly justified in sharing experiences you go through personally. So I think people saying, John, delete your content pertaining to you, pertaining to children is different pertaining to you. Obviously your choice, I think that's a little unfair. It's your experience to talk about. But I do get people saying like, we want to get rid of the drama, whatever. I don't agree, that's like, I wouldn't delete it. It's it's your situation. But more importantly is the fact that there's a sex tape. Attorney. Get an attorney. We all agree to delete everything and block everything is cute and it's fun and it's words on a live, but none of this is legally binding. I would get an attorney or talk to an attorney. That's it. I agree with you, Denisha. Wait, I wanna Good. I wanna get back I wanna get back to one thing before before I, before everybody have their closing uh moments and, and stuff like that. John. Did you talk about did you talk about her daughter being essay or something like that? Did you mention no. that in the video? No. Nope. I never said he mentioned it. It's in the message of, you know, all the when he asked me to vent and I vented about my trauma, it's in that message. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah, right. I've never yeah, heard yeah, of that, that, that part of Yeah, because no, right. I was asking, I was just asking because people in the comment section kept saying yeah, no, that. Like, never, no, don't and never and I never said that. I never said that. I never said Yeah, y'all y'all in the comment section. I never said that he that. spoke on her trauma. I said that it was in that message and she was outed because it was in that message. That that part of the message about my kid is why I was prompted. Literally. That's what made my homegirl be like, what the hell? Because she yeah, knew it was me, and, and she recognized the story. But I never, okay. ever, ever, ever said or even alluded to him actually talking about my kids' trauma. I never. I mean, y'all, y'all can figure that. I have. I, don't, I feel like a, a stranger watching his videos about his experience still wouldn't know that. So I think it's an interesting argument to make in terms of doxing. But regardless, That's John Moss, <coughs> I. I think you're perfectly justified in posting well, your videos about your experience. I think you're perfectly justified in speaking about your experience as long as you didn't say anything illegal, inaccurate, untrue, et cetera, et cetera. And I would talk to an attorney about that sex tape because it seems like people you can't take at their word are promising you they won't do things to you that could damage your reputation and career. You don't want that to happen and you want there to be swift recourse if they do. Attorney. Facts. I got you on that. I deleted all the videos that had anything to do with you. It's, it's, um, even the one where the lady said that you set the uh, place on fire. It's all off my um, page. Um, let it be known now. Anything you do try to release will be known as revenge porn because you also agreed. So we have a thousand people that witnessed you saying you would do that. So that's my last also, statement. I, Everything also, on her Trina, end is gone. I, oh, doxy. Yeah, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, Trina, real quick. Okay. Real okay. quick. Okay. I, I also want to encourage you to do this. And again, you're grown. You're going to do what you want to do. But I also encourage you to delete whatever videos or page you got about uh, allegedly attacking other people that was in some lives or something like that. I saw all the exposing of, videos, all the pages. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw a couple of black women in this comment section talk about it. It was more than five of them. So I, and, and 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 Slim was talking about it earlier. Whatever videos you had on, them, I already just addressed them. that though, Pat. I said everybody that was in that live when John had come up, when I had got dropped and John came up, I, I said like I was pissed. I came for every last person that was in that live talking about me. I said that already. 
Right, and and I'm saying I think you should. I'm not saying again. You can do what you want. I have I agreed to delete should. if it has anything to do with this situation. I've agreed to delete. Okay. It. I can't do it physically right. while I'm on this live. But again, I, if, if it has to do with this particular situation with John or, and any outside sources, right? I have no problem deleting it. Okay. All right. So you guys are going to agree to block each other and not speak on this no more because it looks like John is dead ass done. So if you okay. speak about this, after she's a this, bullock. I want to. I want to address her because she was. Like, Why? It no, I know there's, there's no people. point. Yeah, they, no, yeah, there's, there's no, no point. Say, Sorry, there's no her. point. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. no, 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 John, John, she's trying to apologize. It's different. Go ahead. I wanted to apologize to she's a bullock because I did make a video of her and I was very angry and I took out, I, she didn't really say much. She didn't deserve the stitch that I made of her. So I apologize to her for that, for taking out my anger and projecting my anger to her that I had with John and Slim. So I do apologize to, to she's a bullock for that. If she's still in here, sis, I'm sorry. That that wasn't cool. And I need to, I need to personally work on how I react to situations because I'm angry. And I acknowledge that I did from the jump. Okay, cool. No, I'm and not for, and for the people time. and for the people in the comment section that's saying that we're we're over talking her. You clearly did not watch the whole live. And I'm I've been over talking to. She admits that she's been over talking every single person in this box. So enough with the respectability politics bullshit in the comment section. It's starting to annoy me. Oh, don't do this. This person's that. Stop it. We grown. Yeah. We all pay got, taxes. You too. We on the internet. At, Stop it. But I got yelled at because I was wrong. I was I did talk. I, to the comment section while the man was talking, so I take that. That's why I muted. <laughs> okay, so agreed. Y'all both gonna stop talking shit. So, cause I gotta go to work. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I got you, bro. I'm, I'm probably good. Gonna, I'm head to the yeah, like I, I think said, Slim said he's gonna host his own live. His Are part? you gonna host your own live? Is John gonna host his own live? T, you gonna host your own live? Yeah, I'm finna go live in about a few. Okay, cause I, I gotta go to work. What about this? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got to go to my bag. So peace and love, everybody. Thank you. Right, thank you. Right, I'm about to be live right now. Y'all can come I'll over I'll be to here. your page tea time. Okay. Right, Bye, peace. guys.